The biggest race of the NASCAR season is finally here. The Daytona 500, the most iconic race in motorsports, is returning on February 18th at 2.30 Eastern on Fox. Be on the lookout for Danny Hamlin, Bubba Wallace, Chase Elliott, Ryan Blaney, and Ross Chastain. Michael Jordan is the co-owner with Danny Hamlin of the 2311 Racing with drivers Bubba Wallace in the 23 car and Tyler Riddick in the 45 car. Make sure you check out NASCAR Full Speed on Netflix to get even more in-depth look at some of your favorite drivers before they take to the track in Daytona. The Grand Marshal will be Dwayne The Rock Johnson. There will be 40 cars running at once, all inches apart while traveling upwards of 180 miles per hour. Daytona International Speedway, known as the World Center of Racing, is a two-and-a-half-mile track, and the race is 500 miles long. Make sure you catch the Great America Race on Sunday, February 18th at 2.30 p.m. Eastern on Fox. Again, that's the Daytona 500, this Sunday, 2.30 Eastern on Fox. Get in on the action with DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers who deposit $5 or more can get no sweat bet up to $1,000 back in bonus bets. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use code SHANNON. New customers can get a no sweat bet up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. Only on DraftKings Sportsbook with code SHANNON. The crown is yours. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Nightcap. I am your favorite unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, yep. uh, Bengals ring of famer, hall of famer, uh, three-time all-pro, six-time pro bowler, one of the great mm. receivers in NFL history, Chad history. Ocho Cinco Johnson. Please make sure y'all hit that like button. Please, please, pretty please with cherry and ice cream on, on, ice cream on top. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Ocho, we're now officially at 1,053,000 subs. That's 1,053,000. We're on our way to 1.1 million in the next couple of days, and it's all because of you guys. Please, please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can listen to Nightcap through Club Shay Shay, but we would really, really appreciate it if you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you. Thank you guys for selling out Shea by Laportier. We hope to have st the stock back in soon, but we are taking pre-orders. We just got another 10,000, 15,000 bottles. So all the orders that were placed, we're going to fill those first, get those out, and then now the order's coming in, we're going to get those out. So I greatly, greatly appreciate of you selling the stock out. You also <clears throat> sold out Ocho Cinco's uh, cigars. So hopefully he gets those yeah. back up and running. And we'll be off to the races again. But we have pinned the uh, link at the top, Shea by Laportier, and they're taking pre-orders. So it might take you a couple of weeks in order for you to get the order, but the order will be filled. We've also been nominated for an NAACP Image Award for the Art, Sports, and Entertainment Outstanding Podcast. We have that link pinned. Please, guys, go vote for us today. We would greatly, greatly like to – we would greatly appreciate it. And we really want to win. Oh, yeah. Look, look. No, we're we going to win. We're going to win because of the people. We gonna oh, win. Joe, you know what I'm saying? It's like, look, it is an unbelievable honor to be Very. nominated. But once you get nominated, hell, we're trying to win. I mean, I looked at it like oh, this. Yeah. It's an unbelievable honor to be in the NFL. But while I'm here, hell, I'm trying to win. I'm trying to be an all-pro, trying to make the Pro Bowl. <laughs> I'm trying to be remembered. Yeah. I'm trying to be legendary. So that's what we right. want Nightcap to be. We want it to be legendary. And it would be a, an immense honor if we were, were to win an NAACP uh, Image Award. So thank you for the nomination, NAACP. And thank you for the fans that's going to vote. Excuse me, Ocho. It's time for our first segment of the day, News Cap. The 49ers fired defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes after one season. Oh, my bad. I forgot. I forgot. We got graphics. <laughs> hey, do it big. My bad. My bad, Ash. I'll get the hang of it. This is only our second time, I like but that. I think by Sunday I'll have it down pat. In our first segment mm -hmm. of the day news cap, 49ers fired defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes after one season. Kyle Shanahan announced that they're moving, saying Wilkes was always the outsider looking in. Shanahan said, yes, that was the hardest part. I knew that was a challenge. It's tough, but it's real tough losing to Miko. It's tough losing Salah. Uh, two years before. Guess what? 
Robert Sala was the defensive coordinator. They lost the Super Bowl. He didn't get fired. Yeah. He got another head coaching job. D'Amico Ryan mm -hmm. was the defensive coordinator, and they lost the NFC yeah. Championship game. He didn't get fired. Mm -hmm. He got a head coaching job. Yeah. So, yeah. in other words, are you really going to put all of this on? Look, Ocho. Mm -hmm. You can't. You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to let you finish. I've known Kyle Shanahan since he was 12. I played for yes, his sir. dad. When we were in training camp, yes, he was there every day, shagging balls, doing a lot of stuff. He wasn't there right. during the week because he was in school. But on Sunday, before the cordless mic, he was on the cord for his dad. Holding so I know Kyle yeah. Shanahan 35 years. That's yes, how sir. long I've known him, 35 years. Mm -hmm. So this is not easy for me, but I think it deserves to right. be said. I don't agree with the decision because right. there were some decisions that you made like taking the ball. Why the hell you take the ball in overtime when you know the, right. the first score, the, the, uh, a touchdown will not win you the game. And then you give every, then you give the opposing team an opportunity to know what you got. So they know like, guess what, Ocho? Oh, they got a field goal. Guess what? We get a touchdown. We win. But guess what, Ocho? I got game four over. downs. Because I already know what I got to do. That's why in right. college, they defer. Because they want to see, they want to know what they got to do. Do they need a field goal because the team didn't score? Mm -hmm. Or do we need a touchdown? What, right. about your not, what about you not running the football? Even though you weren't gashing, but that was going to keep Mahomes off the field. And that mm -hmm. was going to tire them down. So you made some mistakes. I mean, Look, Greenlaw didn't help your cause. Are you not going to factor in? One of your best players goes down on the flukiest accident in mm -hmm. Super Bowl history. As fluky as the helmet catch was, that yeah. injury to Greenlaw was even more fluky. How many times, Ocho, have you stood on the sideline and took off and ran on the field? Yeah, many a times. It's, ru it's, ru it's, ru it's, ru it's routine. I don't know. In my year, 14 years of playing, mm -hmm. in all my years of watching, I've seen somebody start to run on the field and tear their Achilles. Now, we've been on the sideline, Ocho, when they had the cords, and we mm -hmm. see guys, the cords stand on the cords, and they pull it, and guys get their feet taken out from under them, and they hurt yep. themselves like that. Yeah. But to just like, and snap his Achilles, no, I mm -hmm. haven't seen that. But I do not agree with this because <clears throat> they held him 19. to 19 points in regulation. 19 points. Not only did they hold him to 19 points, they have had a phenomenal season defensively all season long. Defensively, they had a great season. Under Wilkes, they were a top defense, a top five defense in the NFL. So some of the decision-making, not only from the head coach, who needs to take accountability for the loss as well, but let's talk about the other situations, the other big-time games that Mr. H Mr. Shanahan has been in that he has lost. Yes. One as a coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons. Yep. Hello, you up 28-3. They wouldn't run the ball. You stop running the goddamn ball to take the time off the clock and allow Tom Brady and the New England Patriots to come back. Let's talk about this game. In the third quarter, your best offensive weapon, CMC, you stop running the ball with him to put the ball in the air. There were two downs where you should have run the ball. I, I think it might have, was it the third quarter? It might have been the third, maybe the fourth quarter. You should have given the ball to CMC. A second down and third down, you chose to throw the ball. And you gave the ball back to Patrick Mahomes. Again, those are on you as the head coach. You're making those calls. One it of the reasons why you left. One it of the wasn't reasons why you Wilk's lost. Fault, Ocho. It wasn't his fault that the, the PAT got blocked. You no, put that on nope. Steve Wilkes? Listen, the special team, the special team debacle. That wasn't Steve Wilkes' fault either. No. Matter no. of fact, if 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 the if they don't have that debacle on special teams and Ray Ray gets that ball, you win the game. Right. Because you you, 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 you gave them momentum. They scored a touchdown on that. But here's the thing, Ocho. It's uh it's the fact that he said losing Sala, losing D'Amico. Really? When you still had the same top defense, even with Wilkes, it was still the same. So Wilkes was that bad. You make it seem like you lost Spags. Spags are the four times. Defensive coach that won Super Bowls. Right. Bill Belichick is a two-time 
as a D coordinator, and we know he coordinated all those great defenses mm -hmm. in in uh, 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 in New England. Bro, come on now. If Robert Solomon, so what about his defense? What about his what his defense is doing? Man, stop this. And for you to do that, oh, we know losing Sala was tough. He lost. Robert Sala, last game as the defensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers, was an L after you had a 20 10 lead, lead in the fourth quarter. Yeah. The, the, the uh, Kansas City Chiefs scored 21 points. So, so, so whose fault was that? And mm. guarantee you, if Sala didn't get a job, he was coming back. And I before, get D'Amico's situation. That was a fluky situation, Ocho, because right. uh, second player of the game, Riddick hits uh, Purdy's elbow, you know, tears the ligament in his elbow. I get that. But to say, you know, we knew it was going to be tough, like Steve Wilson, Fettuccini. Listen, that's that's what, that's what we call a scapegoat. That's what we call a scapegoat to get some of the pressure off yourself. And obviously the media, has, has, has the media failed for that and understanding no, hell no. what's going on in the situation? No. Of course not. No, and then, and then, and, and then Nick Bosa talked about we could have been better prepared. For what? You could have been better prepared to know what? the rules in overtime. And if you stop crashing your ass down and let Patrick Mahomes get the edge, mm -hmm. you could have been better prepared. Try keep, to So keep how contained. prepared were you in the first half? When y'all was all over Patrick Mahomes. Prepared very well. Playing very well. Mm -hmm. Now all of a sudden we could have been better prepared. Yeah. You could have done a better job. Mm -hmm. 40, listen, 49ers finished finished 2023, the season third in points. They only allowed 17 points per game. Wait. Yes. 17 points per game. When D'Amico Ryan was there, they only allowed 18 points per game. So obviously this they year, got better. They, Last they, I they got, checked, they got 17 better. is less than 18. They got they got they got better. They finished they finished fifth in takeaways with 28 and had 22 interceptions was tied for first in the league. And obviously, you know, the 49ers finished the season 12 and 5 before even get to before even get into the playoffs. Yes. But Mr. Wilkes is a problem, an issue. Scapegoat. That's the only that's the only thing. There's really no other logical answer to why you would fire Mr. Wilkes after a season like he's had. And to say the man was an outsider looking in. Wait, those what are his What the hell those, is wait, that? Are those his words really? Yes. Move, move saying Wills was an outsider looking in. Yeah, that was the hardest part. I knew that was a challenge. It's tough. It was tough, but it's real tough losing to Miko. It's tough losing Sala two years before. So is he, is he saying that Sala, he wasn't his, is he saying he wasn't his choice to begin with? When he when you say outside looking in, you know what? He wasn't the guy I really wanted, but I bought him in anyway. You think that's well? You could hold on. You, you look. The buck starts with Kyle. I know John Lynch is the general manager, but the buck starts with Kyle. Right. I know how his dad operated. I know how he operates. So if you there, if there was somebody that you thought was better, you would have got him. Clearly, I just want Steve Wilkes. And now look, I know Steve a little bit because Steve was the head coach of my alma mater, Savannah State. Mm -hmm. So you see how he's worked his way up. But right. he's got a raw deal in Arizona. Mm -hmm. After one year, they fired him. He got a raw deal in Carolina after he did a great job filling in for Matt Rule, and he got the rawest of rawest deals. And I know I don't give a damn about no pause. He got a raw deal. Yeah. <laughs> and that's some bull. That's some bull job. Yeah, it is. And I just, I, I just want somebody to give this man a, 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 an opportunity. I believe he's earned an opportunity to have more than one effing year or mm -hmm. seven job, uh, seven games on an effing job. Right. Cause that's all he's got, Nocho. He got one year as the D coordinator in San Francisco, and they make it seem like they they were a a, a bottom feeder defense. Mm -hmm. They gave up 17 points a game, and he held Patrick Mahomes to 19 points in regulation. Yeah, and who was calling the plays offensively? That should have beat. And that you only scored 19 in regulation. Game. Why are you over there bumping them? There's some bull jobs. Like I said, I think Steve Wilson's gotten a raw deal. He's gotten a raw deal at every turn. One right. year in Arizona. Seven, eight games in uh, in Carolina. And not one year again. So if you add it all up together, the man, I mean, come on, man. Damn. Yeah. What yeah. do you got to do? They playing games. There, there, there's a whole other side of the tale I'm not even going to get in. The uh, run defense took a more severe tumble from 2 to 26. Well, they decreased in points, but it wasn't it wasn't like they got the ball run down their throat. It wasn't like Kansas City ran the ball. Mm -hmm. Look, 
a lot of those runs was Patrick Mahomes scrambling. Yeah, yeah. that fourth down, that was a design run yeah. to put him on the edge. Look, the, if that guy RPO, crashes, the R, we're gonna throw the, the ball to the flat to kill. The RPO option, yeah, that, yes, yeah, that was nice. yes, that was, that was a good play call. It was a great play call great because play call. you're not ex- look. Maybe if that's Lamar Jackson, maybe if that's a uh, uh, Justin Fields, I'm mm-hmm. planning for some type of run pass option. Right. I ain't think, and I ain't think I, I'm thinking more run than pass with those two guys. Right. I'm not thinking run no run up run no run up with uh, uh Patrick Mahomes. No, at all. And then he came back like what one or two plays later and hit right up the seam, kind of yep. like he did against a uh, uh, Philly mm-hmm. the year before in the Super Bowl. It yep, took right off. It, right up the A gap. Man, that's just man. I feel bad for Wilk. Hopefully, yeah. he gets an opportunity. He, he um, should. He should. He should. All, all the coaching vacancies, maybe not coaching, all, 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 all the all the all the D coordinator jobs are filled. Are filled. All the head coaching jobs are filled. Damn, that's crazy when you think about it. Yes. So who who's been filled? Who's coming as a D coordinator now for the 49ers? I guess they're gonna they're gonna promote from within. That's 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 totally unfair because now someone takes over that defense that that is already good. It kind of reminds me of the Mark Jackson situation in a sense. Yeah, because they they already good. Obviously, the coat the coaching also helped when you have when you have the personnel. Hell, it's gonna take care of itself. When you had that kind, when you had those kind of players on defense. Well, it's gonna take Ocho care of and itself. I both disagree with the decision of the 49ers. It's their decision. Um, to do whatever they want, but I vehemently, I strenuously disagree with that decision. Um, I wish Steve Wilkes the best. Uh, hell, like I said, I've known Kyle. I played against John Lynch. I know Lynch uh, very, very well. Hell, I know Mike Shanahan. He still has, uh, he's still in the building. But this is, I do not agree with this decision. This was a bull job decision, and I'll go to and I and I and I'll take that. And I I stand on that. You know, I got my uh, white Air Force ones on. And you know, Dad, they say you know, white Air Force One. You know, you know that's different than the black Air Force One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know no black Air Force One, but I'm standing on it. Uh, hold on. Uh, the Cowboys, Ocho, hired a new defensive My. coordinator. They hired Mike Zimmer, and Zimmer came in and said, "We're not trying to reinvent the wheel." Over the last three seasons, the Cowboys' defense have ranked seventh, tied for fifth, and fifth in points allowed while totaling 93 takeaways. So Zimmer thinks he's inherited a decent situation. We're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, they've been pretty good. I've been in some of the situations where things haven't happened, but that happens in coaching. It happens a lot. Oh, is that the same wheel that gave up 48 points? Yeah. <laughs> is that that wheel? What kind of wheel is that? Is that a big wheel or a tricycle wheel? Yeah, well, Mike Mike is a great coach. Mike was a great coach, very very good D coordinator. I played for Mike Zimmer, obviously in Cincinnati. I don't remember exactly what year it was, but our defense was 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 very good then during that time. And I think Mike can make a difference to that defense um, when they had collapses, the way they collapsed against the Packers, uh, collapses again, they collapsed against what the 49ers the 49ers the Arizona, the Arizona Cardinals and and all those teams obviously did one thing they all ran the ball they all yeah. ran the ball and exposed them very very badly obviously the Packers did it through the through the air through the air and and the run and i'm sure Mike can get in there change a few things up they that, to me i think they still need to get a little be, a little beefy i think i still think they need to get a little beefy up front because obviously mm-hmm. The key, what we've all saw people do, is run straight downhill at them. Side yeah, line for sure. Sideline side ain't going to work. They, 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 like, they like light the britches, Ocho. Yeah. yeah. They like the britches. So I, I, but, like, I like the hire. I like the hire with Mike. I, like I, Mike. I, I like love him. the hire. I think it's great. But let's not pretend that they'll say, now, I just want to know, uh, the wheel, are these wheels going to have tired legs? Because you remember you heard, you heard that when they said they had tired legs. You heard right. that, Ocho. Yeah. You said, hey, we need another guy to. Are we them boys or we do we need some more boys? <laughs> they got it. They got it. I'm I'm a firm believer. You see the difference between Kansas City and the Cowboys. Yes, when sir. Kansas City needed a, a field goal, they went and got the field goal to tie the game and send it to overtime. Mm-hmm. When they needed a touchdown to go get to win the game, they went and got it. Right. When the fort the Chiefs defense needed to keep their ass out of the end zone or mm-hmm. keep them out of field goal range, right. they did that. Yeah. What do the Cowboys do when they needed scores, when they needed points, when they needed to get off the field? 
So I don't care. I see this 93 takeaways. Okay. But when you need a takeaway against Green Bay, what you get? Mm. I know Dak threw for the most touchdowns in the NFL this year. But when you needed a score, what did you get? So don't tell me how good you were because if you can't do what you need to do when you got to do it, it don't mean jack. You know what they need to do? You know what the Cowboys, you know, not the Cowboys, you know what the Chiefs had? What? The Chiefs had an owner that wasn't in front of the camera all season goddamn long, too. No, Clark Hunt is not in front of the owner. He like his dad. Not, none, none of the hunts was in front of the camera. No. But guess what, guess what they was hosting in February? The Lombardi. All right, now. It ain't, it, 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 it ain't, it ain't, it ain't rocket science. Oh, Jay, I got to. Oh, Joe, don't you know I got to get the credit? Because if I hire somebody, if I hire Bill Belichick, if I hire somebody, he going to get the credit. Jimmy Johnson, I promise you, I'm old enough. I don't know how I, you probably 15, but I remember nobody mentioned Jerry Jones name when Jimmy was there. It was Jimmy talking about how about them Cowboys and right. Jimmy was getting all the credit and Jerry seed. He seed because he desired that. Attention is a drug. Yeah. And people crave it. And a lot of times they'll say or do anything to get it. Mm. This man fired a two-time back-to-back champ. And I know what Jimmy said. He was burnt out. But he was so burnt out that he went and got another job at Miami a few years later. That's how burnt out Jimmy was. Yeah. I mean, the, the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. Everyone else that is one of Lombardi, their owners weren't front and center. No, they, they didn't make it. They didn't. They, they didn't make it a circus. It, they didn't make it about them. They allowed the coaches, the team, and everyone else to do their job. He learned from Al Davis. That's how Al was, and so Al was always front and center. So you, yeah. I mean, and so that's how he runs his team. Yeah, Al didn't give a damn what his players did. As long as they showed up on Sunday, mm -hmm. he meant that. He said, in the first series or two, the quarterback must go down, and he must go down hard. So all, if you look at, like, the oh, uh, I know you don't remember, the old Miller Lite com commercials. Look at all the, the, uh, the Raiders players that they had in there. Because that's what they did. I told y'all, man, I saw uh, uh, Greg Townsend sitting uh, in 90, sitting outside on his helmet smoking a cigarette. <laughs> I didn't give a damn. As long as you play. That's how Jerry right. is. Jerry's always, you know, front and center. Al did a lot of that too. And that's what Jerry learned. Mm -hmm. Jerry learned his mannerisms and how he is as an owner from, Al, from the late great right. Al Davis. Rest his soul. Maybe, hey, listen, maybe that's why things aren't, I, I, I hate to say it. There's one common denominator. <laughs> There's one common denominator. That's in place. That's always been there. That refuses to change. Yeah. Cliff Kingsbury dodges questions about Caleb Williams. The commanders who draft second need a quarterback. And the camp, uh, commanders, offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury, coached Williams at USC last season. Mm. He said today, he's a great kid. There's no doubt. Just getting to watch Lincoln from afar and observe him he uh, and how he coaches and how he schemes things up his process was huge and it just being around the younger players. Kingsbury was asked what he looks for in a quarterback. And he jokes the chiefs quarterback Kingsbury was the offensive coordinator, head coach at Texas tech. Tech. Yeah. So. Why, why I'm, I'm just curious. Why would you dodge those questions when you know, you're probably going to find a way to get them. Yeah. You got to trade up, but you, you don't, you don't, you don't want to, I mean, you don't, here's the thing on Joe. I don't want to show you my hand because then I'll let somebody build a hand that's better than mine. <laughs> but it's, listen, you already know you're going to okay, get him. Okay. You already know you need a quarterback. Oh, you, you want him. Sam you Howell want him. Not your Guess answer, what? So I'm number three. I want him too. I'm a, I'll bid you. Thanks for opening your mouth. You show that's me your hand. Oh, I'll make you, I, I'll make you pull up. I'll make you do a Ricky Williams. I'll make you give up your entire draft and first and first picks next year and the year after. We talk about a generational it, talent. We talk about a quarterback coming in that has the ability to change your franchise. They don't pick that, first. That secret, like, 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 they pick second. So that means somebody can bid, outbid them to move up to one, right? What, what, did, what, did, brother, what did brother Caleb Williams say about one? It going doesn't to matter what he says. It doesn't matter. You no, I'm so? saying someone can offer 
more assets than okay. Washington to move up to one. Right. That's what I'm saying. So that's why you keep okay. it hushed. Hey, you we playing poker. And you like, ooh, boy, I'm sitting on something over here. Ooh, you keep talking. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I just don't really see playing poker and not answering the questions, knowing when it's common sense and you're understanding what you need. The world can, goddamn, Stevie Wonder can see what you need. Yeah. And getting, and getting him. He's very, very, I'm not calling him Patrick Mahomes in the chat. I'm not saying he's Patrick Mahomes, but if you watch Caleb Williams play, he's very Patrick Mahomes-ish. The way he throws, his mannerisms, the way he runs, the way he processes things, the arm angles, the mechanics, everything is there. The playmaker ability through the air and with his legs. He runs when he needs to. He extends plays when he needs to. Is. He does things not every other quarterback can do. I hear a lot of people say Drake made Drake made this, Drake made Drake made that. Let's stop. Let's let's pause a little bit. Let's go back and watch some film and understand how how good. Caleb Williams is. I know USC didn't wasn't that well didn't play that well this year. They weren't they weren't good as a whole. He is a game changing generational talent at the quarterback position. They're going to get him. I'm not sure why Cliff is scared. I should have been in Cliff's in Cliff's shoes. You goddamn you asked me the goddamn question about goddamn Caleb Williams. You goddamn right we want him. You goddamn right we're going to get him and we're going to do everything we can to make sure we secure him and get that. Young but you're guy. not the only one that needs a quarterback. The last thing you want to do is to let – why you think people don't tell you who they potentially like or what they don't? They like – we like them all. Right. Because I don't want you to yeah. zoom up the board and take it. Mm. Oh, thanks for telling – oh, that's what you're going to do, Ocho? Thank you for telling me. Hey, Washington. Uh, hey, uh, 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 Bears, what a Washington. We'll give you four first-round picks. Ooh. Yeah, see? Because you – now you done Ooh. told me because I know you in the running. Everybody know Washington, but guess what? I for that pick, like if if he's what you said he is, you can't oh, give up is. enough. What would a team right. right now give up to get Patrick Mahomes? What would a team right now yeah. give up to give one of these top five quarterbacks? Because mm. you're not the only you're not the only one, Ocho. You're not the only one that need a drink yeah. of water. There are a lot of people on the island and don't have fresh drinking water. We we all they all thirsty, Exa huh? exactly. But but look, I'm just trying to figure out how Caleb how uh, Cliff Kingsbury keep failing up. He had Patrick Mahomes got fired, couldn't do nothing. Yeah. Yeah. He'd have been a lot of places to get fired, don't do nothing. But he keep getting the and he was the head. The man got fired from a job and got a what college coach gets fired from college. And then gets a head coaching job in the damn NFL. Well, that's why you, you learn. You you learn early in life. One of the most important things that you can have is relationships. Yes. Never burn your bridges. And Kyle, Clin um, Kyle Cliff. Cliff, Cliff, Cliff Kingsbury is an example of that. Never burn bridges. Always keep and build relationships with people because you never know when you're going to need them again. And he has been a great example of having relationships with the right people because you're going to always have a job. DraftKings Sportsbooks have DraftKings Sportsbook has Caleb Williams as the overwhelming favorite to go number one. He's minus 900. So the commanders are going to need to make a move. Guess what, Ocho? I know you want him. Now I'm going to drag the price up. You know what I'm going to do, Ocho? I'm going to do like they did during COVID. What yeah. was prices? Sky high. Higher than giraffe hoo-ha. And you know a giraffe head is 18 foot high, so you know the hoo-ha way up there, too. So that's yeah. what I'm going to do for you. Thank you, Ocho, for telling me that's what you want. Oh, you want him. I want you to say it. I'm glad you did, Ocho. Thank you for telling me you want him. It's going to cost you five first-round picks now for running your mouth. Hey. It's already set in stone. Yeah, yeah. That's I, what told, I told you. Stevie Wonder could see it. Ray five first-round picks, two, whether... first, two second-round picks, three third-round picks. Keep talking. Whether you say it or not, you know where <laughs> I'm going. Talking. You know what we need. We need somebody to throw the ball to Jahan Dotson, Brother Samuels. We need somebody to throw the ball to Terry McLaurin, who is the best quarterback in the draft. I can tell you right now that I know what the Bears are going to do. The Bears, I don't know, it might happen before draft day, but Brother Justin Fields is going to Atlanta. Brother <laughs> Justin Fields is going to Atlanta, and they're going to give up whatever they need to 
Well, if if if, if, the, if the bear if the Bears trade Justin Fields, they are gonna sit on Caleb Williams. Why would I trade Justin Fields and then trade Caleb Williams and let Washington or some other team get it? Uh, they have they have quarterbacks. Quarterbacks will be going from that the Falcons to the Bears. Man, I don't want you think. Hold on, do you actually think I want Rit, Ritter? You think I want Heineken? Really? Yeah. I'd rather take a six pack to Heineken and t- you <laughs> tell me good riddance. Before I want any one of them guys. I'm listen, I'm just I'm just telling I'm just telling you how, how the play is gonna go. And I ain't been wrong. I ain't been wrong all, all season now. I haven't been wrong all season about the games that I've guessed. I ain't, I'm not a gambler. I've been right. I was right about the Super Bowl game. I told you what was gonna happen, and now I'm telling you what's gonna happen in the draft. It's gonna go exactly like that. I guarantee you. I'm not you I'm think- not saying I'm not saying I got the script. I'm not saying I got the script. I'm just telling you what's gonna happen. That's how it's gonna play out. You think the, you think the Bears want Ritter or Heineke? Yeah. They got to do something. Yes. Why would okay? What if I trade Justin Fields to Atlanta, and then I and then I keep Caleb Williams? Oh, that's nasty work right there. Huh? That's nasty work. As as much as you say, I already know what's gonna happen. As much as you as much as you say, you making sense. You making Chicago sense Chicago will be out of their damn mind to trade that number one pick and trade Justin Fields. And I believe you out of your mind if you believe that's what's going to happen. <laughs> hey, listen, draft day, you never know. I'm not saying I'm not Mel Kuyper. Oh, Joe, you actually think they're going to trade? Okay, Justin Fields, who's a first-round pick, we're going to trade him to Atlanta. We're also going to trade the rights to the first-round pick mm-hmm. to Washington or whomever. And right. in return, we're going to take Heineke, or Desmond Ritter? Hey, them some solid quarterbacks now. If they so solid, why won't why doesn't Atlanta want them? I don't know. But I'm just telling you how it's gonna play out. The NFL has always been is always Give me been my crazy the way it Before operates. anything else play out, I don't want no more bets with you until you Venmo me, cash out me, uh uh whatever, whatever, whatever they got, Joy. Whatever they got. They got Venmo, Zell. Hey, Wait, time out, time out, time out. What debt? I, I won my bet. What, what debt? You ain't win no bet with me. I told you, first of all, your bet was uh, Kadarius Tony wasn't going to drop a pass. Not only did he drop one, it got picked off. And okay. I told you, I told you the same thing. We bet $200 on your guy up in New York. Zach? Yeah, yeah, Zach. Then now all of a sudden, you know, saved by the bell. You talking about Zach? Yeah. And we ain't talking about saved by the bell, Zach, either. We talking mm. about that Zach up in, in, uh, in at New York. Yeah, that's that's that boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So All until right, you, you pay me, I don't want to hear nothing about no bet. Until you break you. bread, Zell, Venmo, Cash App. I got you. Apple Pay. Yeah, you hey. love Apple Pay. Have Doug to break me off. I forgot all about that. Western. As a matter of fact, I want my money Western Union. Okay. I want to go to I want to go to Piggly Wiggly. I want to go to a, a Ralph and go to that little that little partition. Wait, what's Western Union? What's that? You don't worry about it. A uh, uh, rail, no. Rail, baby, baby. <laughs> what's Western Union? It's the fastest way to ship money. Not Apple Pay. No, I want Ocho to pay. Damn Apple, I want Ocho to pay. I ain't never heard no Western Union boy. Don't that's, worry about that, it. That's that's some new shit. No, that's some old shit. That's what they used to do back in your day, huh? They, yep, they still do it. That's how I want my money. I want to go to. I want to go to. I want to go to Ralphs and stand up in that corner in the partition. Give them my ID and let them type it in. Oh yeah, there you go, Mister Sharp. Four hundred dollars. Count and it out. Ha- and they hand you the money. Yeah, they hand me the money. That sounds like some old Western type shit. It is. Man, technology, you got to evolve with the times, man. I don't want the technology. All I want the money. Guess what? They done had a lot of stuff. They done had that crypto. They done had NFT. But hey, guess hey, what? All that, one scam. of the one of America's greatest, one of the America's greatest exports. You know what one of the greatest uh, exports is for America? U.S. currency. I know. That's what I'm going to pay you through Apple Pay. No, you y'all don't want it, no Apple Pay. I want Ocho t- to pay. I want cold, in, hard cash. 
Wait, why would you why would you make it more difficult on me when you can get your money the that's, same way? That's the whole purpose. You see, I keep telling you, when I used to bet the guys in the locker room, Ocho, we bet five hundred dollars, we'll bet a thousand dollars. They never paid me in cash. I wanted coins. I didn't want your money. I coins. want your pride. I want you to go to the bank and get ten thousand dollars worth of coins. And when they because they're gonna ask you, the cashier is gonna ask you, well, Mr. Johnson, why do you need ten thousand dollars worth of coins? I lost the bet to Unc. That's what I want you to say. No, I don't like I that. I want you to pay me $400. Go to Western Union and you put who the recipient is, Shannon or Sharp. 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 Well, I could I could put that in Apple Pay. I could put the memo. I don't want where that say, in where say memo. I, don't want that. Where no, no, say no. No. I want somebody to know. No, no, see, because don't nobody know about but me and you. I want that lady that's typing it in to see that. That's oh, this I, how you doing? I like Nightcap. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's Unc like? I saw your I talked saw you on first take. <laughs> how much are you how much how much are you sending Mr. Johnson? 400? Yeah. <laughs> that what I want. I ain't got to pay, I ain't got to pay no extra to ship, do I? No, yeah, you gotta pay extra. So why would you make me but that, that makes no Cause sense? I will at 400 dollars at Western, you'll probably cost you about 420. Nah, I can't do I can't do that. Yeah. I'm an Apple Pay. I ain't got no phone. Pay. I ain't got no Apple phone. I got a galaxy. A who? A galaxy. I got a flip phone. Motorola. Cash app. I cash app you. I ain't got no cash app. I ain't got no apps. You, you, you got it. I ain't you got, got no it. apps. I got ESPN and Google. That's the only apps I got. <laughs> I ain't got no I ain't got no cash apps. I ain't got no Uber or Lyft. I ain't got no uh, Uber Eats. I ain't yeah. got no I ain't got no DoorDash. I ain't got none of that. Well, how the hell you get food? Take my black ass to the grocery store. Or the lady or, 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 or cat comes and prepares it. What do you mean? How? You got a chef? Yeah. Oh, this man here, man. I mean, you got a chef, man. Sure do. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna pay and I'm gonna pay her for one of her sessions when she come prepare the meal with the money that you sent me. That's an unnecessary expense. No, uh, what's unnecessary. unnecessary is that my money is drawing interest in your damn pocket. That's what's unnecessary. It is very <laughs> see. I told you, money out of sight caused a fight. I should have made you put the money down right then and there. By what we went in person, we was we was doing the show when we made the bet. Pay me, <laughs> like KGB say, pay the man, pay right, him in money. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna I'm gonna cash up it right now. I I don't know who you, I don't know who it's going to. Cause I ain't got no cash out. All I gotta do is type in your name, and it's gonna pop up. If, if it's there, I, I, I bet you. I bet you five hundred dollars. I bet. bet you another five hundred dollars. No, 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 no. It ain't five hundred. <laughs> I ain't got no cash out, Ocho. You I don't play? have all them apps. I'm telling you, I don't have DoorDash. When I want, when I want some, when I want, to, when I get Uber, Shelly calls, and she has to, she has to, like, okay, it's eleven o'clock here because she's on the East Coast. Right. Shelly handles all that. Wait, you have somebody that's all the way on the East Coast handle something when you want something to eat when you, you can just Uber, download yes. the app yourself? Yes. You can download the app yourself? I'm in Indy. I'm in Indy right now. Shelly had the Uber pick me up. I said, uh, Uber for Miss Davis? Yep, that should be. Oh, man. You 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 complicating life a little I too much. I keep telling... Listen, Shelly had... Listen, too much. Ocho, I've been working in this business for 20 plus years. Yes, sir. You call CBS. You call Fox. You call ESPN, you yeah. call anybody that had anything to do with business and ask them how many times they've talked directly to Shannon before going through Shelly. Oh, they got to go through somebody else first? They go through Shelly. I don't have God. email. Shelly has email. Everything that's set up with my technology is through her email. God damn, you, you ain't got no email? Boy, you you operate like the Flintstones. Shelly handles that. Everything goes through Shelly. I'm, you know, I'm ESPN, CBS. Fox, uh, 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 anybody that had anything, they'll right. tell you. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna do everything through rail. <laughs> go like, ahead. Hey, all, all business got to go through her. I like that. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that. CBS, CBS tried to set me up an email account. Right. They you set up the them? email account, and uh -huh. then they would call me and say, "We sent you an email." I said, "Why don't y'all just tell me what the hell is on the email?" <laughs> I mean, what the hell, Ocho? What the hell? <laughs> You got yeah. you sent me an email. They sent me up an email account and everything, Ocho. Right. And then they called me, hey Shannon, check your email. Okay. Just tell me what the email's saying. 
So eventually that's what they did. ESPN when they hey, it goes through Shelly. I gotta try that. And that 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 puts too much work on Shelly though. When that's Shelly's get- job. That's she that's why she gets paid what she gets paid. That's right. why she has the life that she has. She handles oh. everything. She styles me. She was styling me before I hired Hollywood. Right. right. And that's what I and she she got upset about that. I said, okay, I'll give you your job back. Right. She handles everything. Travel for me, my mom, my sister, my kids. She handles all that. Bills pay. Boom, boom, boom. Get everything to the accountant. Boom, boom, boom. Everything to my attorney. Boom, boom, boom. That's her job. Her job revolves around Shannon. Baby. All right. You got a new job starting in March. Real work. Real work. Shelly, Shelly's only job is me. Okay. Oh, so, okay. Okay. I like that. Her only I job like is me. That's her job. Well, I'm going to start small then. I'm going to start small. I'm going to start, I'm going to start small with, um, I want to try that. I want to try that Uber shit. <laughs> I want to try that Uber shit. Baby. I want Uber Eats. You got Uber Eats on your phone? Hell no, nah, I ain't got that. But listen, you want? I ain't. I'm not even gonna be funny. You think it's bad? I'm gonna tell you the apps I have on my phone. The main apps I have on my phone. I have Cash App. I got Netflix. Obviously, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Snapchat. I don't think I opened Snapchat since it came out. But my most important app. Snapchat. My most important app on my phone is Fubo. My Fubo app to watch soccer. I don't. I don't think. Maybe the chat, some people in the chat might know what the Fubo app is. Very, very important app that I use to watch soccer. Um, Obviously, Apple Music, my Xfinity account, um, Fox Sports account, uh, Etsy. I I don't know if you know what Etsy is. is. Etsy, uh, where I get get some of my jerseys from. I get most of my soccer jerseys on there, on Etsy. Oh. I got a wallet. Hmm? I got a wallet. Wallet. Oh, yeah. wallet. You mean like with your credit card on it? I ain't got no credit card. Hell no. Nah. I ain't got nothing on my credit card. Hell no. Nah. Man, I don't put my credit card on nothing. No? Hell no. Nah. Oh, boy. Well, you, well, you living in the stone age, <laughs> man. <laughs> you got you got Hell to the no. Hold on. Mm-hmm. McDonald's app. Yeah, Man, yeah. look, Ocho. Yeah, that's Ocho. It. How about this, Ocho? Yeah. Since I've been out on my own, I've never booked a flight. I've never booked a hotel. Okay. I know. Okay. <laughs> not, not, no. You, when you was playing and you had, you had a little thing coming in town. Who you put in your business and let them book that flight for for the old lady? My brother had a travel agent. Okay. 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 I'm I've gonna... never booked a flight. Okay. I would. I could not go. I could not go. I couldn't tell you how to book a flight. Like even still today? Yeah, I would I would actually call the hotel. I would probably need to call the hotel and tell them, uh, even when I was going to Daytona, I would just right. show up. It's like, uh, yeah, you have any vacancy? And I'd have to put like a thousand dollars, fifteen hundred dollars down cash for incidentals. Cause oh, I didn't have no credit, damn. I didn't have no credit card then. Damn. Yeah, I didn't I, I I've never I've never booked a hotel room. I've never booked a flight. I couldn't tell you how to. Well, you living in the stone age, boy. Shelly handles all that. That's a job. Hey, I just, I mean, I mean, I let everybody have you, a job. Jordan you, have you, a job. I, with, hey, he don't ask me no questions, boss. You don't know how to do that. No, that's your job. You supposed to know how to do it. Ash has a job. Right. She don't say, hey, Shannon, you don't know how to do that. No, that's your job. Hell, if I could do it, I wouldn't need you. Jordan, if I could do that, I wouldn't need you. Right. Shelly, boom, 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 boom. If my if my sister needs something, if my right. mom needs something. The kids, they don't they call Shelly. Yeah, but you have to also be self-sufficient just in case Shelly wants a vacation. Oh, or it, it's hard. Oh, or if Ash but, goes on a vacation, you got to know how to do it yourself. Just Ash have going, to do it. We going on vacation at the same time. There will be no vacations. Ash going on vacation. George going on vacation. When Shannon take vacation, they can take vacation. God damn, huh? Yes. Absolutely. We all go on vacation at the same time. Well, you got, but well, that's rough over there, boy. Yeah, yeah. You 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 run the tight they, ship over they, there, boy. They, I, I think they I think they kind of like the pay. The pay pretty good. The pay really good over yeah. here. The pay okay, Jordan. 
<laughs> yeah, she, y'all, hey, y'all, y'all hired? Said, man, I, I'm really good. I got six, eight months free rent. I got a moving expense. Mm. Jordan ain't paid rent yet. Been out here down eight months. Shit. Baby, baby, is the pay good? <laughs> yeah, shit. The pay, the pay good, shit. Yes. Especially, especially after yesterday. What you what you did for Valentine's Day? Shit, I oh sorry. Uh I ain't do nothing. What what's what today? What was what was Valentine's Day? Yesterday? Yes, yesterday. It ain't even been oh. 24 hours. You ain't know what Valentine's Day was? You ain't had Man, you ain't had no bro. Valentine? I was home in my bed. Uh uh-huh. You ain't had no Valentine. I mean, I know you probably don't want to say it because people, people watching. But... I ain't got no. I was at home in my bed. Ocho, when I go, I, when I go, hey, at, when I go to Atlanta, I go. The only time I come out of my bedroom is if I got an appointment. Other than that, I come out of my bedroom. I go in the kitchen. I eat. I go back in my bedroom. Hey, I don't I like cut right, no TV on. I, I like how you said that because that's what that's what the kids say nowadays. An what? appointment. No, they don't. No, I get my hair. You know, when I go, when I go to Atlanta, I'm gonna get my nails done. I go to my lady Marilyn. Marilyn, I know you're not watching this, but thank you, Joe. Joe King been cutting my hair for 30 years. He's the only person that's ever cut my hair in Atlanta. That's Mm -hmm. it. That's 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 the only thing. Now, occasionally I go out with my daughter, the kids. I was like, okay, look, your dad's in town. Okay, we're going out to eat at this time. I don't ask. I say we're going out to eat this time. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm in my room. Yeah, I don't like that. I've been trying. I've been, I've been trying to find you someone um, to keep you company, to be able to go out, to dine out with, to have great conversations with. This here keeps me company, with. huh? Nightcap, Club Shay Shay, ESPN. I, there, building there content. Other, listen, there are other facets of life as well. You, you are, you are human. You are yes. human. And you can do things outside of work. You got to have partnership. You got, you got to have relationships outside of work. Everything can't be work, 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 work. All fun and no play is not going to work. You're going to work yourself into the ground. That That's not good. You have to not for me. Reset. This is what I, this you got to reset. I, it was uh-huh. Valentine's Day yesterday. That is the day of love. That is love day. You have to have. Man, they made that. They made that issue. up. You think so? It's a scam. I know so. So it's a scam. Yeah. And you fell for it. I ain't, I didn't I didn't fall for it. I mean, I'm I'm just follow I'm I just it was a day where I get to show the the person I love appreciation. Okay. So you that's the only day you show that, huh? I mean, well the other days I, I show it, but not as much. I don't put it on display as much as I do on that special day. It ain't nothing special. Every day is special. Well, with me, yeah, every day is special, but I just the the on the onus of Making sure you know this day is is about you, is is a little better. So you ain't getting nobody no gift or nothing. No, I ain't getting no gift. I got a gift. I, I, I mean, Ocho, Ocho man, look, I was trying to get you to come on until I was like, damn, it's it's Valentine's Day because Gil oh, had I, something, had Gil something scheduled. I tried oh, to get I was, you. I was I, like, oh, it's, it's I Valentine's. Dinner. I know that's what I'm saying. Hey, I t- I told. <laughs> I told Ray, you mind if you mind if we cancel we cancel dinner? Real like, fuck no. <laughs> you think you mean? <laughs> I say, nah, baby, I'm, I'm gonna do nightcap. We 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 catch dinner the next day. Boy, Real say, I'm gonna peel your cap. <laughs> <laughs> but she was hot, what? I don't blame it, Real. But I did suggest it, Real. That'd have been on me, Real. That's on me. That's on me. But I'm just trying to get real. I'm just hey, trying listen, to get you. I, I was trying to get out of there. I was trying to get out of going to dinner. I was I was really willing to do nightcap because I. I'm, my little basketball knowledge is is is, is coming into coming into play. I'm yeah, yeah. Ass, you know, it's so understand. real. I was trying to get real what real don't understand. I'm trying to get real. See that jumbo jet that I posted. I'm right. trying to get Ocho to get you on one of them. Take you. I'll be yeah. the uh, uh 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 Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Nah, Saudi. She nah, she, we done been there already. Nah, we. You done been to Saudi? Keep, we gonna keep, yeah, yeah. We don't keep. We gonna keep it close. We, what about Bali? We just, my, we just, uh, we just came back from Qatar for World Cup. My, she oh, was yeah. state. She was. Baby, you were stationed in, in Saudi. She was stationed in Afghanistan. So okay. she already know about she, she already know about on that side of the water. So I ain't trying to do that. If I'm gonna get me a little private jet, I want it to be somewhere close where I ain't gotta do much. I want because right. you know the flight, you know, you pay by the hour, you know that, right? Yeah. So what should we I'm do? Gonna, I know that. <laughs> I'm just I'm just made, I learned that. I learned that was on my on my PJ. Yeah. So I just want to go somebody somewhere close. St. Martin, St. Bart's, uh, Belize. 
Jamaica, Bahamas. Yeah. I don't want to go too far now because I know yeah. y'all charging me by the hour and for motherfucking fuel. I want. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, if you close, like, like, you ain't got like, when you you ain't got to gas up. I don't want you gassing up. I want you to be able to do a, a round way, a, a round round trip on one tank. Oh no, they're not they yeah, doing no. that. They're gonna gas up, Ojo. They're gonna gas up. Shit. They don't don't be gassing up just to be gassing up on my dime. <laughs> oh, you want them to gas up last thing. You want them to do is, is run out of fuel, be half three a quarter of a tank of fuel over that ocean. Oh, oh, we good. We oh, good. Shit. Oh, we good. <laughs> <laughs> we good. LeBron committed to the Lakers who are willing to explore drafting Bronny. The Warriors took a swing at trying to land LeBron James ahead of the trade deadline, but their attempts fell short. LeBron did not, didn't want to be traded. Rich Paul told Stephen A. Smith show that LeBron is fully committed to the Lakers as he's set to become a free agent this offseason. And, and to ensure he stays, according to the Athletic, the Lakers are willing to explore drafting Bronny. Mm. What you thought? Yeah. What you think about that? That the, uh, the Golden State Warriors put a full Damn. court press on trying to link LeBron and Steph yeah. Curry. You know he wasn't doing that. <coughs> just knowing LeBron, knowing his makeup, knowing just understanding him and the competitor that he is. The the fans out there in, in L.A., no. It's one thing to leave Cleveland. Yeah. Boom. Obviously, what you've done for L.A., you won them a championship, even though it was during the pandemic. So some would probably have an asterisk behind that. But mm -hmm. leaving those fans in L.A., it just I don't I don't think he would be able to recover from that. I don't think he'd be able to recover from that. And I don't think him going to Golden State at this point in his career would have been the move. It, it just wouldn't have been the move as much as playing with Curry would have been awesome, you know, for people to watch for us to see and understanding how that changed the dynamic on them getting to the playoffs and winning a winning a championship. Right. I, I, I just don't see it happening. It didn't make sense. I think I saw a clip on. What Rich Paul says something about it. It doesn't make sense because it's not a win. The right. situation is in now is a win, even though the Lakers aren't playing the way the way they should. They look good. They look good last night without LeBron. Last, yeah. It's the first time since uh, 03, I think, Shaq yeah, and Kobe, where you had two players score at least thirty five points. Yeah, Rui Hachimura good. and uh, AD. Yeah. They've been played well. I think they've won two games without LeBron. Mm -hmm. um, we know what LeBron brings to the table. I think if look, AD has been sensational this year. He's an all NBA. He's going to be on the all NBA team. Right. We know what LeBron represents. So the question is, if they can stay healthy, I believe that. And the way Austin Reeves is playing, uh, they added Spencer Dinwiddie, who gives them a, a little juice off the bench. Mm -hmm. I, I like the Lakers. I like the Lakers. It's it's one thing to beat somebody once, but to beat somebody four times in a seven game series in a, in two weeks, and all that team does is focus on you. Right. I like I like where the Lakers are standing. I like. I like their chances a lot. Mm. I'm not saying they can, they're going to win, but I like their chances. The way AD is playing and the way LeBron is playing and the way Austin Reeves is playing and Roy seems – and D'Lo. D'Lo has been sensational. Right. And I know he's heard his name come up in trade in trade talks, and uh, but he's kept his head down mm -hmm. and he's played extremely well. And so I like that. But I'm not surprised. Look, the man uprooted his family. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have I, I haven't spoken to him about this. I haven't even even talked to Rich, but I think <clears throat> he's content being in LA. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, I many, think Savannah too many business adventures, too many business adventures, too 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 many things outside of the game of well, basketball going. Well, here's the thing: LA. you do realize in the Bay now you got Silicon Valley. Oh yeah, Steph and Draymond, yeah. those guys at Godala, they have access. To those, you know, those venture cat, those starts at the bottom that you get right. in, and the next thing you know, you in at Google for say mm -hmm. a couple of million dollars, and it right. blows up, and now you are a a, a a twenty x your money. Right. So, but yeah. look, that's he's LeBron James. He mm -hmm. can get access to those from L.A. as opposed to he doesn't have to move uh, uh, all the way across, uh, all the way up to the Bay. But I'm not surprised that he stayed, Bronny. Uh, Bryce, he's not looking to pull Bryce out of uh, a Sierra Canyon. Uh, Bronny is at a USC. Mm -hmm. um, now he's probably going to just be one and done, but I don't think he wants to move Bryce. I'm, I'm sure the daughter Zuri is in her niche, in her groove, uh, doing so. I, I, I wouldn't see him moving. I know Savannah's whatever she has going on, mm -hmm. she's cool. She's landlocked right here in L in, uh, in LA. So 
I'm not surprised that LeBron vetoed that. I would say, no, nah, I don't. I'm good. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, it was. It was. Do you really think they really tried? You think the Warriors really tried to get LeBron? What you think? Yeah. Is that just, is that, is that just smoke and mirrors? No, no, no. They tried to get him. Yeah, I mean that. You know, that's like that's like knowing someone. That's like being a dude and you trying to holler at a woman, knowing damn well you ain't got no goddamn chance for her because if you were to get her, you basically out kicking your coverage. That's okay. All guess what? All she can do is say no. Say no. She might say yeah. She, nah. What if it's that one day that she mad at her dude? What if it's that one day, Ocho? And we all done seen it happen before. Tell you no. Tell oh uh, yeah. Okay, okay now. <laughs> I know you. Go, I know you. Hey, I know you're gonna tell me. What, hey, I know you're gonna tell me when I'm right when I'm right, and you'll tell yeah. me when I'm wrong when I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know exactly what you're talking we about. All, you know exactly, we all done know, been I there. Know exactly where you're coming from. We all done been there. Yeah. To that yeah, one, you, like, oh man, she got yeah. a dude, and you yeah. just like, hey, what's up? Well, hey, what you? What? Yeah. Oh, you talk. You can talk. Yeah. I, yeah. Be- hey, it happens sometimes. Listen, I say it all the time, and I say it again. Just because there's a goalie in net doesn't mean you can't score. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. You you catch him at the right time when they're angry. Yeah. When they argue, and she and she vulnerable. Shoot, boy, green green light, green 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 light. Hey. Oh. And sometimes it's an empty net. Hey, you know it's real little easy to score in an empty net. I'm just hey, I'm just saying we're gonna move it right along, Ocho. We're gonna move yes, it right sir. along. But you know what I'm talking about. The country music stations are already refusing to play Beyonce's country song. Beyonce surprised everyone on the Grammy Sunday with songs Texas Hold'em and 16 Carriages. But despite calls from Bay, the, the Bayhive, Beehive, for country stations to play two songs, some are allegedly refusing to do so. After requesting Texas Hold'em to be played, KYKC 100.1 FM in Oklahoma, the station replied by email to decline. They said, we don't play Beyonce as we are a country music station. Bad mo- move to stir up the Beehive. After more requests poured in, KYKC changed its tune and added Texas Hold'em to their rotation. Well, that again, telling you how they feel about you. Yeah. Telling you how, they, how you feel. She she made a country song. She made a yes. country album, but based on it being Beyonce, they're not going to see it as that. They're not going to see it as the original genre of music because mm-hmm. it's Beyonce. Right. I agree. That's all. This has been going on for so long, for decades and centuries. It would never change. It would never oh, change. You you probably too young. But I remember when I was, they wouldn't play would MTV. MT did the same thing to a lot of black artists. Played them at 10, 11 o'clock midnight when they know ain't nobody else watching that. But wouldn't play them in, in the peak hours. Yeah. The MTV did the same thing. So yeah. and, 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 and radio stations have been doing this for the longest time. So long. So and normally, you know, hey, you had to break them off. That's yeah. why you go in there and you got to break them off a little something, something, yeah. and they play your song. And they if keep you didn't in, break they, them off, you didn't get and, played. And they keep you in rotation. Correct. Correct. They keep you in so rotation. I'm not surprised by this, even that it's Beyonce, because Beyonce is the, it, 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 I mean, she's not our complexion, but she is our race. Wow. Oh. The game is a game, Unc. The game has always been the game. You gotta learn to play it. The better you, yeah. the better you are at playing the game, the more successful you are gonna be. Yes, because they ain't giving and, out no handouts. As long as you understand the rules, you can be good at any game. You just need to understand the rules. There you go, Shaq. Don't let that go over your head now. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it. I will keep it a stack with you. <laughs> It is what it is. Yeah. Um. But I'm glad. I'm glad. But and you know, people like that. That's oh, that's racism. That that's racist for who? <laughs> Not for their fan base, because yeah. the people that normally listen to the radio station look like the people that's cut, playing the records at the radio station. So they 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 like okay, thank you. I ain't breaking. I look here. I'm not interrupting anyone's normally scheduled program to break in, to break news. Right. Y'all know what it is. Yeah. Y'all know, oh, no, ain't nobody surprised by this. It's been going on and going to continue to go on. We'll play good music. Man, look at how much they play. Man, you couldn't even cut your radio stone here talking about some ice, ice, baby. <laughs> Every time you have a band, like, hold on, God. Bro, you can't play a song four, five, four, five times in an hour. I understand it's a rotation, but damn. 
The money talk now. When they talk about, all right, stop. I was like, okay, all right, stop with this damn song. <laughs> <laughs> man, hold your man. Damn. <laughs> man, they need, they, they, hey, they need to stop this, Ocho. They really do. That's funny. So where oh. you take where you take a rail at? Huh? Last night. Oh, <laughs> hey, you know I I um I went outside my norm. Obviously, we went to we went to some car carbon. Carbon? Yeah. See, you got to say it like you're Italian. Carbon. You got to say it right. Don't just say carbon. We know it's carbon. You got to say it like you're Italian. Carbon. And do like this. Do like this. Carbon. Try it. Carbon. Try it. Carbon. Carbon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, but we, I'm we, just we, glad. I am glad uh, that Beyonce is good. Like I said, you got to be really, you got to be way up here. Way up. To venture outside of what everybody know you for. Yeah. Ain't a whole lot of people can do that. No, not only venture outside, but actually have the confidence in the, the skill set to be able to do it and be good at what you do. Right. I mean, you look at uh, uh, Hootie. Uh, he's a very good friend of my buddy, Hootie, uh, uh, my brother, Hootie and the Hootie, Blowfish. Hootie and the Blowfish. They went to school together. Look yeah. at what he did. Hey, he he he, he uh, uh, went solo, went country, ain't yeah. looked back. Yeah. That's crazy. Charlie Pride never left. It, mm. it ain't, I mean, it's not a whole lot of black that I can think of off the top of my head. Charlie mm -hmm. Pride and, and, and Hootie is what I what I know. I mean, I grew up. Uh, uh, my grandfather was a Charlie Pride fan, but but for Beyonce, I give her credit. I give her credit because that ain't that ain't how I operate. Right. I like to stay in my wheelhouse. My I right. like to stay at things that I'm good at. I'm mm -hmm. not really. I'm not. I don't really like to venture out. Mm -hmm. I, I, have I ventured out and found out I was good at stuff? Yes. Yeah. But I like to stick to what I know. I mm -hmm. stick to my basic food. They're like, man, how you eat the same thing, bro? You eat chicken and rice every day. You eat chicken and this every day. You eat chicken and that every day. Because I know chicken is good. It's hard to mess up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but when we talk about Beyonce and we talk about the lanes that she has, she has, yeah. multiple, she has multiple lanes that she's good at when it comes to music. She can, she can touch and jump into every genre of music and excel at it. Country music. What is country music? Country music is all about telling stories. Yeah. It's all about telling stories. Gospel music. Beyonce grew up in the church. I'm yes. sure she sang in the choir. If Whitney grew to, up in the if, church. If, yeah, if she wanted to do renditions of gospel music and make a gospel album, mm -hmm. I'm going to buy that. Why? Right. Because she can blow and has a background in the church. But... R&B, pop. She, she can touch all. Maybe... Techno, not so much. But here's the thing, Ocho. When you go back and look at gospel music, gospel mm -hmm. music is, is us. So yeah. I remember going up, my grandfather listened to Mahala Jackson, listened to Reverend James Cleveland. What you know about, James, what you know about uh, the upper room? Listen, Don't do that. <laughs> listen to uh, uh, the five, Alabama, the five blind boy. I, yeah. I remember that. So mm -hmm. it's not a far stretch to see Beyonce do a gospel song. Right, right, right. But it's a huge leap to see Beyonce, one of the biggest icons, that's a 180. Yeah. That, oh, that that, that's a 180, Ocho. Yeah. That, hey, that's like Patrick Mahomes, like, <clears throat> all of a sudden, he played wide receiver, running back. Right. Like, hold on. Right. You know, a left tackle going to right tackle, we can see that. Right tackle going to left tackle, we can see that. Mm -hmm. We've even seen defensive linemen all of a sudden become offensive linemen. Yeah. But boy. Hey, you know, hey when you think about it, right? Mm -hmm. If you do, if you do your homework, if you if you if you had a little bit no, a little bit more knowledge about country music, you know country music is us too. I'm not I'm not I'm not going to get in depth on it because I don't have the knowledge about it. But there's a lot of us in country music as well. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 about it's all music mm -hmm. is about storytelling. Yeah, that's yeah. what it's about. Right, they're telling a story of why I'm sad mm. or why I'm happy. Yeah. Why I do what I do because of mm -hmm. the environment that I grew up in. So it mm -hmm. forced me to sell. It forced me to do whatever it is, you know, right. rap, gangster rap, whatever the case mm -hmm. may be. Mm -hmm. But it's all about storytelling. r and I'm singing about to this person that I love, love and I'm telling you why I love her. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you how she makes me feel right. and the emotion and the feelings that mm -hmm. I get when I see him or her. Mm -hmm. 
And you know, one one of the best things is for artists, whether it be R and B, whether it be country music, whether it be rap, is when you're able to put your feelings in personal situations you've been through, whether they're happy or whether they're bad or sad, yes. with the pen and put it on paper and express it through your yeah. voice. Yeah. Especially but, country music. When people, when when a woman that is an R and B singer goes through a breakup, the world the the world says one thing: Oh, this album finna be fire. Hey, because how why, they feel is expressed through their music. Why you why you think a uh, uh, nep nephew girl uh, Trav Travis Kelsey bad uh -huh. Taylor? Hey Taylor, keep that pen. Oh yeah, oh, you've been acting you've been acting funny lately. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. I got a uh -huh. song. Yeah. Man, Taylor, hey, hey, you know what I'm saying, Ocho? Yeah, man. But you, I mean, but you know, it, it's when you can speak through personal experience. Right. Like you and I, when I talk, I say, you know, me growing up poor, you growing up poor, uh, with no indoor plumbing and having the 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 interactions I've had with mm -hmm. women. I'm not telling what somebody told me. I'm telling right. you what I know. Yeah. I lived it. I experienced it. Right. There, there's nothing greater than experience. Mm -hmm. And there's, you know, you know, they say a wise man will learn from others' mistakes. Thanks. A fool will learn from his own. Yeah. I'm just trying to do what I try to tell people, what I try to tell uh, young athletes and people when I talk to them is that here are some of the mistakes that I've made. Mm -hmm. This is what happened. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that it's going to happen to you. Right. But maybe heed, take heed, heed. to what I'm saying. And, and most of the time, nine, nine, nine times out of 10, it's going to go not. one ear out the <laughs> other. It's going to go in one ear, out the other. They're going to have to learn through just that experience. Alone. Yeah. And sometimes gonna, experience is the best teacher. You can't yeah, feel, you, you, you know, you I know. try to tell, I try to tell my kids, you know, my kids are grown mm -hmm. now. My son is, is a dad, is a husband and a, and a, and a dad. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, sometimes he's just going to have, sometimes Ocho, you just going to have to bump your damn own head. Yeah. And you know, you know what happens, especially when it comes to athletes and you come into some money, you know what money do to you when you're young, you ain't never had none before. The first thing you, you feel invincible. Oh yeah. You, you well, for, as an athlete, you feel invincible anyway. Anyway, yeah, you, you feel invincible. <laughs> you, th you feel like it can't happen to you. She wouldn't do this to me, or you know, oh, they love man. Don't get me started. Yeah, I'm, hey, bro, you ain't telling me nothing. I don't know. Been there, done that. Oh, Joe, check this out. A yeah. WestJet passenger claims she was kicked off a flight for excessive use of a bathroom before takeoff. A, the woman revealed on Twitter that she was forced to leave the aircraft after making frequent trips to the bathroom due to an upset stomach. Mm. Uh, she wrote she got kicked off a West Jet flight from Mexico. Oh, man, y'all better leave that woman alone. She was in Mexico probably for a week. Man, you know what that woman do, to, that water over there do to you? You can't drink the water, huh? Montezuma's revenge. Hey, wait, how many different times she went to the bathroom where they would force you to get off the flight before you even, before you even depart? She said, here's what she said. She said, because I had an upset stomach, I was going to the washroom too much before takeoff. No promise of a hotel or rebook flight. Mm. I had meds and I was on the men. Some customer service. Wow. Yeah, I don't think she's telling the whole story, huh? I don't think she's telling the, the, the whole story because no one is kicking you off a flight unless you were rude. You're not following the rules, but they will allow you to use the bathroom, especially if you have an upset stomach. I think they would they would extend you that much courtesy after buying a ticket. She's leaving out half of the story. She's not telling the whole thing. She might have been rude. She might have been upset. She might have cussed somebody out. There, there's Ocho, more to it than that. You have to be seated during takeoff. You don't get to say I got an upset stomach and that plane is getting ready to go down the damn runway. Yeah, I understand that part. But if you okay. use the bathroom, they keep you, telling you, you sit down. They get ready. The they get ready to put Ocho. If they tell you they're getting ready to push back, right, and you get your butt up, they're gonna stop. They're gonna say, "Ma'am, will you get back in your seat?" Now, when they get to that point out there and they're getting ready and they in line, and that pilot come on and said, uh, uh, "Thank you for traveling with uh, such and such airline. West We're yet, number West three yet. for takeoff." Right. Okay. Ain't nobody else getting up. That's right. it. Until we reach a comfortable cru cruising altitude of ten thousand feet. feet. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's more to it though. I mean, you 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 gonna listen to that? You know, it's it's funny. With with it feels very uncomfortable when you stand up, and the damn pilot say or, or or the or the stewardess say, everyone please take your seats. Nobody should be standing up in the aisle and their whole plane looking at you. Yeah, 
Nah, I just, I just, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's, I, it's, I, I hate weird. that. And when some, when the, uh, uh, the flight attendants come on the airline, we're on an active taxiway. Please sit down, man. Sit your ass down. <laughs> I'm a, I, I'm gonna feel some type of way if right, they take right. this plane back. If they take this plane back to the gate, cause y'all back there jacking off. You gonna be hot? What? Especially Man. if you gotta, especially if you gotta be somewhere and somebody yeah. turn around on the plane and then force you a little bit. Now you know. Come on now, Ocho. Y'all yeah, know, I, y'all, y'all I, know I, when that plane, when that plane done backed away from the gate yeah. and they tax into the runway. You already know what you time know, it is. You know, you know what down. Now, For, yeah. And second of all, you know when the plane land. You can't get up. Oh, you know they get up fast now. Oh, Joe. I mean, Susan, er, er, they stand up. Stand up for what? Where you going? Please sit down until we get to the gate. Thank yes. you. Yes. Y'all be doing. Y'all be doing too much. Everybody trying to get out that plane. I need to fly. I'm gonna sit back there. I don't care what they say. I'm gonna sit back. I don't really bother nobody, Ocho. I get on the flight. You know, hey. I don't really talk to a whole lot of people. Occasionally they'll come like, hey, you mind if I take a picture with you? My right. husband, you know, they already got my boarding pass printed out. I end up signing that. Sure, mm-hmm. no problem. I don't want no problem. I need to fly. <laughs> so they're not going to put me on the no-fly list, and right. I can't be flying. Nope. I don't care who she is or what she say. As long as they're respectful of me, I'm going right. to be respectful to them, and they, we don't have no problems. We don't have no problem. I got no problem. I like it. I need to fly. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stand up when I'm supposed to stand up. I'm gonna sit down when I need to sit down, sit down. and I'm gonna be quiet when I need to be quiet. I ask, ma'am, if, if the uh, I just want y'all to know, Delta, I was disappointed with the uh, <clears throat> how you have a flight. We had a flight uh, where we, uh, L.A. Not uh-huh. n- not not liquor Wi-Fi. Not oh, would you use it on Frontier? No. But well, well, every, every every airline has Delta. Oh, maybe it was down. Maybe the maybe the Wi-Fi was off. I don't off. know about no down. I don't know nothing about no down. And we didn't yeah. have live. And we didn't even have live TV. Yeah, that's rough. Hell, shit. My <laughs> Wi-Fi was down before we did the show today. I had. Who to you re- telling this, bro? That's rough. Wait, where you was going? L.A. to Vegas. I was going to Atlanta. Oh, that's a long flight with no Wi-Fi, boy. Thank you. Ooh, now, they need rough. to compensate me. Hey, Bridget, I know you watching. Y'all need to compensate me. That's rough, cause Spirit would never, Spirit would never have that. Y'all even got no Wi-Fi. Spirit well, does y'all... have what? Spirit does have Wi-Fi. Y'all got, y'all got rotary dial phones on that thing. No. <laughs> hey, you see the issues that y'all <laughs> having? Delta has issues. American has issues. You know what airline doesn't have any issues? Spirit. Man, look here, Ocho. I don't saw y'all. Y'all didn't had the pilots ain't even show up. The that flight never. attendants don't show up. Wasn't American just y'all on ask strike anybody, the Y'all ask anybody up? in the service, huh? Wasn't the say? pilots on strike for American and they just weren't showing up? If you're on strike, you don't have to show up. Your guys were supposed okay. to be at the okay. gate. Your guys were well, supposed to be flying a plane. No, no. They they pay, they pay our pilots a livable wage. That's the problem. They was on America was on strike because they was being I ain't cheap. talking about you nothing new. You're talking about America. You talking about spirit. They were supposed to be at the gate and they had them people sitting on the plane. And talk about the pilots will be here shortly. And 10 hours later, they didn't show. That's not true. That's not true because you can't board the plane until the pilots get on first to do their I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you the pilots didn't show up. So pull it up. Spirits, pilots, no no shows. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull it up right now. Matter of fact, and the the, pre, the reason they didn't show up was because the flight, the, the, the flight that they were supposed to be on, it got delayed and they couldn't come in. Ah, yeah. He tell the full tell the full story. Tell the full story. Hold on. I told the full story. Hold on. I'm gonna pull this up because you know Ocho got y'all thinking that that they be fine that uh oh yeah. Uh, in August 22nd, that's my sister's birthday, a what Spirit day? Airline passenger claimed she and 200 fellow travelers were stuck inside a Spirit Airline flight for seven hours after being left with no pilots. What year was this? 2023, August. That don't even sound right. It sound right to me. That don't even sound right. 
We haven't had any issues outside of that. That's Passengers. just one. Hey, what, what the hell you mean outside of that? Oh, let, let's talk about these other mainstream airlines. I'm that talking about this week. every week. I don't know nothing about every that. week. Y'all ain't Delta got before flights. Something. Delta is always something. American Airlines is everybody want to run to all the all oh, these airlines are so good and they always have an issue. Always. Spirit Airlines uncertainty has some pilots dusting off their resume. That was three days ago. <laughs> we pay good. Man, y'all get paid. The Dele- uh, uh, Spirit Airlines uh, pilot get paid by the hour. Nah, Thirty-two no, fifty hour. We get paid. We get paid. That was, and, and they start from the time the plane boarding. So mm-hmm. they get take your hour to have two hours of boarding. They done made sixty five dollars. <laughs> A Delta flight from Amsterdam to Detroit was filled with some unwanted stowaways. On Tuesday, Delta Airlines flight 133 departed Amsterdam, the Netherlands, bound for Detroit, Michigan. But an hour into the flight, the plane had to turn around and go back after maggots reportedly fell onto a passenger from overhead bin. A fellow a fellow passenger said she was freaking out. She was just trying to get, trying to uh, uh, trying to kind of fight off the, these maggots. The flight crew eventually traced the maggots to a passenger's bag. Which contained rotten fish wrapped in newspaper. What airline was this again? Spirit. No, Delta. it wasn't no spirit. I just <laughs> told Delta. you every every time it's always something. It's always something with these main airlines that everybody loves. Delta to gonna to make it right. That's trade. one thing about Delta. They make it right. Delta make it right. They're gonna make how, it right. How they made it right. How they, can you imagine you on a plane, you comfortable, you're an hour in flight. Your eyes might be closed. You might be asleep. You might be eating, and you got maggots falling on you from above. Yeah. How you? How do you make that right? You can't make that right. Make it right. Delta gonna make it right. They probably gave. They probably gave like. Man, uh, they gonna get. They uh, gonna get in people. Probably like three, four hundred thousand miles. Probably gave them hotel accommodations. That ain't making nice it right. Nice restaurant. That ain't huh? making it right. It it's is. Too, it's too late now. I'm traumatized. I'm emotionally damaged inside because I was. You ain't no traumatized. You eat I, booty. You I lick 30, feet. Maggots ain't gonna hurt nothing. I, who? Ma- ma- we talk about maggots, man. People maggots. eat maggots. You can eat maggots on the air. You can eat maggots in the air. Not at you 30, can eat maggots. Not at thirty-two thousand feet, and they not. Yeah, cook. you can. Not at thirty-two thousand feet, and they not cook. Yeah, people eat booty at twenty at, at on at sea level. Who? <laughs> No, nah, I don't eat at sea. I live above sea level. No, you I'm don't. Not... You in Florida. Florida is below sea level. What the hell are you? Who are you? Not, hey, not the part of Florida I'm in. All Florida. <laughs> nah, I, I don't do that no more. I'm, I, I, got, I got baptized. It ain't whole. It is stick. <laughs> oh. uh, Delta awarded all the passengers, including the victim, 8,000 air miles for future and hopefully maggot free travel wow. those delayed it, overnight was given a hotel accommodation in amsterdam a 30 dollar meal voucher ain't gonna buy much but hey it's something i ain't gonna let y'all talk bad I mean? about delta you y'all ain't gonna mean? do it ocho I lie. You what I mean? nothing you gotta say about delta i it, hey we love a 30, to fly a 30 dollar voucher for some maggots they call it we love to fly. on a whole flight we love to fly the shows so yeah, you ain't gonna I, say nothing bad about them Come on over to Spirit Chat. Y'all won't have those issues. And the flights are cost efficient. You have extra money if you're going on vacation. Better make sure you go to the. You better make sure you go to church before you go over there and pray to the Holy Spirit. No, nope. get on we, Spirit. Listen, Spirit has had no issues in flight at all. There is not one case. If you do your homework, if you Google it, none. Delta always has issues. America always has issues. Pan Am. Or, wait, Pan Am. Y'all ain't got but ten planes. Huh? Y'all ain't got but 10 planes. Sometimes 10 is all you need to get where you need to go. The fish owner was detained on the plane after other passengers had departed. It's unclear if he'll face charges because you know you can't bring food from yeah. wh- overseas right. across the water. Raw food at that. Yeah, for sure. Even Man. cook. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I don't know if they'll let you bring food from home. Like you need to, you have to get it in the airport. Wait, but how you do you break get, it? How do you, how you get that in the That's what I'm saying, Ocho. How do you? Hold on. If it got maggots, can you imagine the smell? 
I don't know if you've ever been around thing that anything that had maggots coming of out course, of it. I have been course. on a farm. So of how course. the hell you get through security? Yeah. Yeah, it got it got to be smelling at that point. The the smell for, for maggots to even be in question, it has something had to be rotten for a for a while for maggots yeah. to even form. Yeah. Yeah. So you ain't I ain't gonna let you talk about I ain't gonna let you talk about uh 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 Delta. Yeah, we ain't had no problems though. I'm just telling you. We ain't, ain't had, had no, no problems. I ain't had no problems either. Nah. Hey, and we well, horrible representation. I mean, we used to. I, well, I look. Horrible. I only flew. I look. Oh, Joe, I'm in Atlanta. I mean, I ain't a whole lot of airlines I can fly because Delta's gonna take me. Look, I can go to hell and hell nonstop on Delta. Right. United. I used, only time I flew United with the Broncos. That was the that was our charter service. Mm -hmm, was right. the uh, uh, United. Every once in a while, I've flown America. I probably found flown American about five times in my life. A lot of times, it was because I had to get, I had to come to, like Philly. I flew out of Philly, right, uh, on American. Mm -hmm. um, United, I flew one time. I was, I was in uh, Jersey, and I flew flew uh, Newark. I flew uh, United to L.A. I had to get to L.A. But most of the time, I fly, I fly Delta. Delta, yeah. yeah. You know what airline I really like? And what? Listen, we we all know I love PJ. We, all, we we no no forget that PJ shit. I, I'm never doing that again unless it's with the kids and the family. But um, Je, I don't know if you ever been on JetBlue Mint. I think I called, heard about like, that. Yo, unk, uh, I had to do something. Doug Doug got me a deal to do something. I think it might have been in LA at the time. And yeah. on my way back home, in my flight there, they had me on JetBlue Mint. Man, listen, that was one of the best best experiences and the service was phenomenal uh the 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 chair the bed i i don't even know how to explain it it reclined all the way back the food was great i mean it was it was phenomenal and all, all i remember and obviously tv they had live tv so that made it even that much more better and you know wi-fi and all that but that jet blue mint um, i don't I, that was my first time experiencing that and it was cool so i still remember it american got some cute flight attendants though last i remember i yeah. hadn't been on in a minute american Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't pay attention. I don't, I don't look at flight. You only spirit because you don't know who I. Do they I have flight attendants? It. Do they even have flight attendants on spirit, or you just help yourself? I, I, I be, I be. I be they probably real. got water. They got water in cans, so they got water. Hey, rail. She right there. Do they got? Do they got flight attendants on spirit, or you just grab the water as you head to the back? <laughs> Yeah, hey, Rail says she don't do spirit. So she I know lying. you're lying. All the times you've been flying with Rail. Well, no, no, no. American Airlines or Delta. Did you hear did you did you did you hear our key words? If I'm booking the flight. Bingo. Yeah. If I if I'm going somewhere for me, I'm flying spirit. Now if, if she has to go somewhere and I'm going with her, she buys a ticket. It ain't on my goddamn dime. It is all that. that's one. All that's one. Y'all the family. Guns. It all goes into the pot. It all no, no. goes into the pot. What pot? The pot. Ain't no pot. Ain't no pot over here. The Ocho Cinco Ain't pot. No, it all no, goes no, into no, the no, pot. No, no, no. no, she has the pot. She has mm -hmm. the pot. She does the buying and the spending. I have my little my little stash on the side that are for my things, for my cigars, for my McDonald's, for my Air Force Ones. Matter of fact, I went and got a, a pair of black Air Force a pair, a pair of black Air Force Ones for no reason. But that's another story. I, I I just I send them back. Uh, before we go, uh, what you call them? Want to say a shout out to Caitlin Clark, the all time uh, uh uh women's college scored more points than any woman in college. She oh, passed she, Kelsey Plum tonight. She, she broke the record in the first quarter. She had twenty three points. Had a, a a career high forty nine points. Congratulations to Caitlin Clark. Congrats, uh, Caitlin. Unbelievable player. Phenomenal. She's going to be college, uh, uh, women's college basketball player of the year again. Mm, she right. won the award last year and deservedly so. And she's even running away with it uh, this year. I think her, Juju Watkins, and uh, Brink, uh, the center from Stanford, I think they're going to be unanimous pick on the uh, women's college basketball team. Probably Paige Be Buckers. Uh, Beckers, I think that's like Yeah, Paige Beckers, Beckers, yeah. I think, I, I think she'll be on that team also. But those three are head and shoulders. Uh, Juju is unbelievable. She dropped 51 the other night. Caitlin Clark has been sensational all year long. And Brink, man, she's unbelievable. She's unbelievable. Uh, but Carolina, Lady Gamecocks, Don Staley mm -hmm. is doing an unbelievable job down in Columbia. Oh, yeah. She has those, those young ladies balling out of, their, out of their minds. 
and I love seeing it. That's my brother's alma mater, so go Gamecocks. Uh, Laney Ray said, I flew Spirit once and done. It was too cold for Spirit to the Spirit plane to land in Minnesota in January. Well, if you can't land, if you can't land in January, I mean Minnesota, you already know what it's like in Minnesota. Wait a minute, that that would be any airline. If it's not safe for Spirit to land, but it ain't Delta safe for no airline. But Delta was landing in Minnesota just flying. Laney Ray says never flying Spirit again. Nope, nope, that don't even sound right. I ain't it sound that. right to me. No, 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 I don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. There's a reason. There's a reason why if a spirit flight can't land because of the weather, then ain't no other airlines landing as well. I'm just telling you what the lady said. The lady said Delta planes will land just fine. What I reason she got to lie? I, I mean, like when it. she said land in Minnesota, I'm assuming she's from Minnesota. Mm -mm, I don't like it. I you, know. You, you can't say you don't one like airline. People, you can't you don't say like when people tell the truth. You don't like but, that. I've been uh -huh. noticing that about you. I think that might be a white lie. No, I think it might be a truth. Mm -mm. I don't like that one. Because I, I understand. I used to work at the airport. And if one airline can land, so can the other one. No, I, obviously not. Obviously that's, it could. That's why that's why there, there, there are holes and discrepancies in that story. Ain't no discrepancies. Stop hating. I'm I'm not hating. I'm just telling you oh, what oh, I know. Oh, because old paper, I, old I'm, paper I'm, airline I'm, ass spirit. I, I'm talking through experience. <laughs> give me, give me, give me some cardboard. I'll make you a spirit airline. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I make your spirit play. <laughs> ah, hell no. <laughs> hey, somebody talk about in the chat, talk about that's Greyhound in the sky. That's that's what all it is. That's ain't all nothing, it is. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't nothing wrong with Greyhound because I've gotten on Greyhound many of times. I've gotten on fact, Greyhound too. I, I took the mega bus a few times. I'm Man, not too Greyhound I'm not, I'm be not... stopping at, Mo, at Mofo's house and everything. <laughs> Man, it's here's this spirit airline. <laughs> what well, oh. where you be seeing that you want to exit row? And there's your row right there, Ocho. <laughs> hey, you took the Greyhound, you took the Greyhound before? I have several times. Okay. Go see okay. my brother at, at uh in South Carolina. Okay, it okay, was okay. a normally a three hour a three hour uh drive. Right. Two and a half, maybe three hours if the traffic's flowing. I mean two and a half, two forty five. If the traffic's right. good, three, three ten. If it's not. Took me about nine hours, ten hours to get there. Yeah, yeah, that, that's rough. So I, to Orlando, I've taken Greyhound before. To Orlando, I've taken Mega Bus. To Orlando, Tampa, Jacksonville, just just through through Florida. Obviously, when times were a little rough, were, were, yeah. were a little rough for me, man. A couple but of times now, it was me and my homeboy. Uh, we had spring break, and we yeah. go see my brother at uh, at the university. Mm -hmm. We hit the, hit the great. I think I think it was like ten dollars. I think it was ten dollars round mm -hmm. trip. I can't even. I can't even but that was, man, you got to realize, Ocho, that was hell, that was 85, 86. Long time ago. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. I think I think it was like ten dollars. But it's man. I mean, people that take the bus and they fly, and they go by themselves. Like, I mean, I saw women with kids. I'm like, oh yeah. damn. Yeah. Man, I, yeah. man, I saw. That, I said, man, I got to get on my grind because I could never, I could never. Let my it's, woman. It's, it's it's one of the most cost efficient ways to travel. <laughs> yeah, when you got, but when Ocho, you, come you, on, bro. Got, when you we ain't got it like that. It, Ocho, everything can't be about cost. Some things got to be like I said. You got to be careful, man. Let people go across the country like that. No, and it's not the, I'm just going. I'm just going a couple of hundred miles. Imagine going like that. People be going cross country. The word, yeah. And going cross country, it, it costs. So there's only one way to get there, and it's gonna be a little slow. So you got to be prepared. Hey, I need I need to be get me a color highlighter because I got to get your seat assignment by color because I know where well, you in the yellow section, you in the yeah. blue section, <laughs> the yellow section, seat thirteen A. Okay, let me, seat, give me a thirteen A. Oh yeah, I need another water. They go your little seat right there, Ocho. So you be you be uh you be in the second group that's that's uh, boarding. The second no, that ain't right because I'm normally in group one. So I know I know you. No 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 no. That that seat assignment wrong. That that's that's what you call them. That's how you uh a cattle. That's this old cattle call. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you everybody just stand up at once. <laughs> that's how y'all be doing. Ocho, check this out. You know I'm in Indy. Uh, get ready to coach the celebrity. Uh, 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 the the celebrity game tomorrow night. And why y'all ain't invite me? 
it's me and 50 against Stevie. I don't know who Stevie they partner is, but uh, I'm up here in Indy. I had a conversation, like I told you, I told you I was going to have a conversation with Mike Epps. Had yeah. a conversation with him last night. We talked for probably about 10, about, about 15 minutes. I'll say 15, right. 15, 16 minutes. Had a good conversation with him then. He said, well, uh, I thought you was coming in today. I said, no, nah, I'm coming in tomorrow. And uh, he said, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to link up. I said, bro, we done had the conversation. I feel comfortable with what you told me. Hopefully right. you feel comfortable and understand what I was saying. Right. And he's like, okay, cool. Um, um, uh, but I, anytime I come to Indy, I always go to Country Kitchen. Yeah. I came here when the Super Bowl was here. Uh, the Patriots played um, the Giants. And mm-hmm. I went there. I ate there like four times. I was going for breakfast and and dinner. Mm-hmm. Uh, I ate there. She And she happened to be there that day. And she was so great to me. And I said, babe, I told her name is Cynthia. I call her Cynthia. I said, Cynthia. Anytime I'm here, I'm gonna come see you. And she just, I mean, we like she lets you treat me like family. She's good to me. And so I, I was there. And so I would expect him. And Mike rolled up. Yeah. He came up, I dabbed him up. We had another conversation. He's like, mm-hmm. hey, bro, I'm sorry. Say, you know, I say, bro, hey, I handled it wrong because the conversation that you and I having, mm-hmm. we could have had this conversation with none of the stuff that we displayed online. Right. And so I just and I that's on me. That's on me um, because I reacted the way I reacted. Mm-hmm. Uh, I could have just hit him up, and I know people that have his number. And I could say, hey, bro, here, pass my number to Mike. Tell him this is what I'm feeling. I wasn't. I, I don't think it's cool. Hey, just hit me up. Let's go ahead and put this aside. And I could have – that's on me, Ocho. I handled yeah. it poorly. Well, I handled actually, it poorly. You, you handled it the way – because what was said, it was said publicly. So you handled and responded back the same way it was delivered. Yeah. You, right. you feel me? So listen, yeah. I, I'm what you guys have done is very commendable. You're very commendable. You guys, obviously, being role models, a lot of people look up to you guys. Um, y'all, 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 a little too old to be tussling, you know, wrestling, and oh yeah, yeah, stuff. for sure, for y'all sure, a little too old. But I ain't got no apology yet because he called me a milk dud and said I ain't got no eyebrows. Like as you can clearly like see, I, I have eyebrows. In my head, I don't know about no, I don't look like no milk dud. It do so. So me and Mike, we still got to tussle. We got to tussle. We got to arm wrestle. We got to play. <laughs> hey, listen, we got to pencil fight. Mike, I know you're going to see this. We got pencil fight, arm wrestle. Uh, I declare thumb war. We got to do something. We got to have right. some type of some type of competition or something. Because I, I, I'm, I'm damaged. I feel bad. I feel bad. You got an apology. I ain't getting no apology, and I took a straight. Well, I, I apologize I to straight. him for the way I was taking I, a few. Of the way I, I went and bought it. a pair of Air Force Ones, bought a ticket to go to Indy, and then here y'all go making up. Yeah, you should have came. You should have came with your boy. I was coming, but the fight was over. I was coming it to was, get down. Nah, it wasn't going to be shit. no fight. But what I shit? mean, yeah, well, look, who wasn't going to be no what? I say, what? Well, I look. I mean, the turn pull up has meant a lot of different things. Everybody's taking it in the context, like, oh. Unk pulling up the uh the fight, Unk pulling up to do this. No, Unk what you pulling up we, to have a what, conversation. What you thought we was going to do? No, no, no. I'm, we're gonna have a conversation. Nah, I ain't wasn't gonna be I'm, no talk. I'm, I'm, I'm a conversation. No talk. I was gonna talk with. I was gonna talk with these. Nah, shit, boy. If you get into it, I don't got. You, I don't got. Too, I don't got too old, Ocho. Nah, now nah, listen. If you get into it, you better understand what it come with. Ain't no turning. Ain't no turning back. Yeah. Ain't no uh, turning. Once I put them goddamn black <laughs> Air Force Ones on, boy, it's on now. Check my well, history now. Well, I need you to put on something comfortable in case we have to run. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because I'm going to trip you because I'm going to need a head start. I got two repaired hips. I can't run that fast, Ocho. So I got to trip your ass <laughs> up. <laughs> hey, one thing about it, man. I don't know how I don't know how well people know or understand Mike Epps is the king out there in Indy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. He, he, he bought. He, he bought a lot of a lot of uh, uh, houses yeah. in his neighborhood. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, yeah. Mike, oh, yeah. Mike yeah. Doing that thing out there. Listen, boy. Me and you would have been running. We. <laughs> I, I, can, I can see us now. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, we might not have made it out of Indy, man. Going yeah. out that crazy. But shit no, I, I just I just wanted to talk to him. And now yeah. everybody, Ocho, not everybody got something to say. But you notice what Ocho? Because yeah. here's the thing: if you think about it, Ocho. I'm coming up on four years of having Club Shay Shay. Yeah. Yeah. I and it's so. all of a sudden. Yeah. Even everybody. I mean, there's a there's this pastor that we're uh-huh. uh uh that used to with that that I guess not he a gangster pastor. Oh. Uh all of a sudden talking about he oh, wants got, somebody to got, pull they up. They got them. They got them out there now. Hey, uh, now all of a sudden, I mean he he gonna do so much. He need to sit his little roly poly ass down. 
Go but this is what I do. It. This is what I this is what I said. I after talking to my sister, and you know, everybody knows I don't need to go into detail how next to my grandma, mm -hmm. I probably listen to her probably more than my own mom. Right. Because right. that's how close me and my sister are. And I gave her my word. I ain't finna beef with nobody else. I ain't finna beef with nobody else. Nah, uh, no. Wait, you can't do that. You can't you can't do that. Nah, now, Ocho. Wait, I, wait, I think me, the thing is for me. Wait, stay with me real ahead. quick now. Now, again, I love what you and Mike did, but you putting us in a in a in a situation where now we've set a precedent where people can now take shots, can say what they want to say, and they can get away with it because now you promise, sis, you're not gonna get any more beef. So anytime anybody says anything, they can get away with it. At some point, we're gonna have to stand your ground like the Florida law. My we're my have job to stand our ground. No, my job for you is you remember that money that you brought out is to make sure you get three times that next year. Yeah, that's oh, my we job. Gonna, we gonna get that. We gonna get that's that. That's what regardless. I'm saying. We gonna get that's that. That's what regardless. I'm saying. That's my job. My job is to make sure. And 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 I'm not gonna do anything to jeopardize my brand, but my brand is my integrity. Everybody knows what I stand for. Right. I'm 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 a strong, proud black mm -hmm. man. Right. But we gotta stand on business now. But don't 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 be coming with no bull jive. All that other stuff, and I see. But if you look at it, Ocho, mm -hmm. look at the clicks and like when they mention my name. Look at the clicks, likes, and views when they don't. Right. So what they mm -hmm. found out is that if I take shots at him, and if mm -hmm. I can get him to respond, right now all of a sudden I've given I've given my audience mm -hmm. their ear. Ah. So like for it. me, I can I I I I I can be the bigger person. I'm glad Mike and I had this conversation. I talked to my boy Quake. Uh, I talked to Cat. Um, I talked to some people that's in that business that I'm cool with, right. and I'm cool. I'm gonna let you, look y'all have at it. Y'all say whatever y'all want to say. Y'all can say I'm being messy. Y'all can say I'm doing all this. Okay, fine. Everybody's not gonna like what Ocho. Uh, uh, not not gonna like Nightcap. Unk and Ocho. Everybody's not gonna like Club Shay Shay the platform. Everybody's not gonna like Shannon on first take. Everybody's not gonna like what Shannon Sharp's doing. Right. I'm not everybody's cup of tea, and that's okay. But I'm I, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Um, nah, you, we can't be done with it. We got we got the fire. At no, we got no no. We got to do what we, we got to do. What a, we do great we content. Ocho, you know how we got a million subs in four months? Yeah. We could. We didn't have no beefs. We we created great content. Right. People came for came to hear us talk about sports a little bit, but they mm -hmm. stayed for the story. Stories. Right. Right. Our stories. Our content. Is what people keep coming back for. Right. We have a large women a uh, women's base. Thirty five yeah, percent yeah. of our viewing audience on a sports show yeah. are women. Yeah, yeah. So for me and you, I don't need I don't need it because people are trying to uh, uh, trying to piggyback on right. the success right of Club Shay Shay and Nightcap right. And I've given them far too many. I mean. Ocho, do you under do people understand how many people have eaten after the after the uh uh Cat Williams interview off Club Shay Shay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guarantee you, if you were to all up add up all the views, not just on my platform, Club Shay Shay, that thing's done 150, maybe 200 million views. Mm. Because a lot of other people have eaten off it also. Right. And like and like Colonel Jessup said, I'd rather you said thank you. And went on your way. Or pick a weapon up and stand at post. Either way, I don't give a damn what you think about me moving forward. Right, right, right. And I, I feel you. I understand. I understand what you're saying. I understand the promise that you made. But it just it just opens up another door of people now knowing, well, we can say what we ever we can say what we want to say. And they there can. are no there are no Within repercussions. Re <laughs> there are no repercussions behind it. Not saying that we're gonna get out, we don't go out there and do nothing, but ain't nothing wrong with a little tussle to let a motherfucker know, listen, if you're gonna say what you say, you got to be willing to understand that something does come behind that. I just stand, standing on business. I need mean, some you gotta make an example out of somebody or they they're gonna keep trying. Oh, 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 oh Joe, you I'm Pablo Ed, listen, you think Pablo Escobar and Griselda got to the height of their power by letting people just Disrespect them? No. No, but sometime, that's 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 a different sometime type Sometimes you got to step step on the motherfucker toe. Just sometimes you ain't got to well, do see, much to him. Step on his toe. I hit him in the chin. But you, know, you got to yeah. understand, all these dudes take a shot there. Look, Ocho, I'm shooter brother size. Now they might try to tussle with you. Ain't yeah. nobody trying to tussle. Ain't nobody trying to bang Listen, with me like that. I ain't no I ain't no wrestler. I ain't no wrestler. My hands good though. I ain't no now, wrestler. Man, ain't nobody trying to now, tussle. Now let me stop playing. I, I 
I know that's that's a good thing. No, I'm I'm just saying what you and Mike did was commendable, man. Oh yeah, I, I, but I I, but I, 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 just, I, I just I just I need to look. I need to look. I I love to look a man in his eyes. Right, 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 right. And let him know what I'm thinking. Right. And why I felt the way I felt, and he can tell me why he said what he said and what it what he was what he was thinking when he said it. So I mean, like we had a great conversation. We talked. We laughed. As a matter of fact, he left and came back with a couple with a couple of his partners. We took some took more pictures, and he said, "Man, I want to get this picture. I want to put this out there to let other right. other black men know mm -hmm. yeah. that you can settle your differences, differences by having a conversation, right? And not be not fighting, not shooting. I'm like, bro, mm -hmm. I'm good with it. I'm yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is it, dope. Obviously, I'm, I'm I'm a fan of Mike. I'm a fan of all those that are continuing to have things to say. I saw one yesterday. I was gonna reply that was talking about us uh, and. But I, I just I just let it go. Obviously, I want to reply with I love you and say blah blah blah. But I I just let it go because I'm not saying anyone is beneath us. I'm just saying responding to them would have been somewhat beneath based on the trajectory. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're and that, and that, so I, okay. I, I, I just let it go. Let's just keep doing what we do. Right, 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 right. That's what we do. We do what we do. Right. They do what they do. And look, there's enough people in the world. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't watching us. I mean, there's enough people to watch Cam, to watch I Am Athlete, to watch mm -hmm. Pivot, to watch my boy uh, Cam. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, I man, I met Cam. I met him at CU. I've met him like three or four times. Right. Cool ass brother. Yeah, yeah. Cool brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love him. You got Stephen A. You got a lot of guys, bro. Mm -hmm. There's enough money out there without you trying to take shot at somebody else. Yeah. Create Everybody. better content. Your content can't be talking about me. Or right. what you think I am, or what you think I did, or what you think I said, please tell me that your podcast isn't based on that. Right. Understandable. Understandable. Okay. Well. Well. Every everything everything is done. Um, oh, Joe. You know when? Oh, Joe. You know when I did that? Uh, that monologue. Uh, uh, uh of a few good men. You know, yeah, people think I read that off a prompter. Yeah, hey, that thing was good, boy. That thing was good, bro. Yeah, I mean, but you 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 recited that thing, like <laughs> I didn't think you was reading it because if you was reading it, you wouldn't have been able to deliver it with the passion that you did. So that's yeah, how I kind of sure. knew, I'm like, nah, he ain't reading. That's something that he already knows. Maybe you yeah. had to do it in me. I don't know, maybe in class or something. But you, the way, your <laughs> nah. delivery let me know you weren't reading it because to be able to deliver it the way you did with that kind of passion, as if you were in character. Yeah, that shit was nice. Oh, I love that. That shit was nice. I love, I, and that's the thing for me. I love, I love, I, I don't go now since the pandemic stopped, Ocho. I right. haven't really been to, I think I've been to the movie maybe twice. Right. Um, I, ain't been, I ain't been to the movie since the damn pandemic. That's what I'm saying. Since the yeah. pandemic, I, I used to go all the time. That was my thing. Anybody that really know me right. knows that movie is my thing. Mm -hmm. I, I love the movies. On my day off, I would go to the movies. Me and my homeboy, when I was in Denver, uh, Burns, Keith Burns. Mm -hmm. Hey, go work out. I see you at the movie that's such and such. Right. You know. Hey, and so that was my thing, and I hate that. You know, I just, I just don't have the time, and I don't have the patience. I used to sit, Ocho. I could sit through twelve hours of movies. Right. I can't. I can't anymore. Yeah. Because I'm all. I'm thinking like, man. Sitting What's here, next? I could be do. I could be. I could be. I can. Oh, I'm thinking about what else I could be doing with this right. time. Nah, I got to Man, I call Ash. Ash, what you think about what you think about this? Ash probably like, damn. Thought I was gonna get me a day off on Saturday. No, you didn't. Mm. <laughs> and so that was my thing. Like uh, uh, going to the movies, man. I love go to the movies because I didn't go as a child. Right. I mean, I think you know. Uh, uh, and I remember, I remember when movies was a dollar fifty. Oh, listen, I I remember, I remember too. I'm not sure if anybody in the chat is from Miami. I used to catch the bus to go to the Omni. It's right, it's right where, right by Bayside, right where uh, America. It's not America Airlines Arena anymore, but the Omni used to have a movie theater right there. I used to love to go to the movies. There was a Burger mm -hmm. King right across the street. It's before I, before I had money for McDonald's. There was a Burger King right across the street because I couldn't afford the goddamn the the. The goddamn concession stand, so I would get Burger yeah. King. Then I walk across the street in the Omni, go catch me a movie, and catch the bus on, catch the bus yeah. back home. Do they, they still have dollar movies? Huh? Do they still have dollar movies? 
I'm not sure. What about the driving? When the last time you've been to the driving? Probably hey, driving, driving is classic. Oh, oh, I used to go to the driving. You know your boy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I already, now that I already you know. brought it up. I don't huh? know why you brought it up. You must have know. You must have do something. I didn't know. Cause I never <laughs> told you that. Cause yeah. you know your boy. Oh, she go get it in. Yeah. Driving. Oh, yeah. Most yeah. definitely. Most, most, most definitely. That 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 goes without saying. Yes. It just I haven't been able to. That would be that would be great. That would be great yeah. if there was if there were driving theaters in 2020. That would be so oh, man. I wonder if there's Hey, if somebody in the chat, if there ain't a drive-in, you probably have to drive like 500 miles to get a drive-in thing. It's, it's because there I used hit. to be one in Vidalia. Uh, there was one in Vidalia, and there was one um, there was one in um, in Hinesville, mm -hmm. a drive-in. And this was before. Now, that I think you can get it through your uh, your radio. But this right. was before that you took the thing off and you put it in your car. Yeah, right on the door. Right on yeah, the yeah, you put, it in, door, you, you put yeah. it in your car. And so... We used to go like the girls would sit in in the get in the in the, in the car, and mm -hmm. then all the boys would get in the trunk. Right. So we go to the movie, and the girl we you know they pay you know we pay a dollar. The girls would play a dollar. I'm talking about this is my aunts, my cousin them, and then we get in there, get situated. We hop up out the trunk, and we sit on the bench, and we watch the movie. Mm -hmm. And then when it's over, get back in the trunk, we go home. Right. <laughs> ah, that's, that's Man, old Joe, the boy, hey, that's throwback. That, that was that bad. That was that was some good old times back there, though, Joe. Baby, you want to go to the drive-in? So I'm just telling you now. Anybody go to the drive-in? It's going down every time. You already know. Every like Nella says, going down, down, baby. In the back seat. I mean, it is it's, if it feels really good to be able to do some of the things you used to love to do back in the day and be able to do them in 2024. Man, I'm going to jail. Man, I will, I'll be out there. I will be nothing. Okay, not not doing that part. Not doing that part. But I'm just You saying, know, hey, your boy. Yeah. Going What's to the drive-in. busy in a Burger King bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Man, hump, don't show your boy. The dance is your chance to do the hump. <laughs> well, we were wild back in the day. Baby, do the hump, the hump. We were wild back in the day. You don't know nothing about that, man. You don't know about yeah. that Humpty, man. Huh? You do realize Tupac was in, in the digital underground, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Oh, that's so what you so got bad. on the agenda for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Uh, baby, what we got tomorrow? Nothing. I we just got we got um I just got I just got my baby a place. A a, a place? What a, a house? Yeah, a little a little bigger. A little oh. bigger for, for, for that. That's my bad. So are uh, you are you selling this you selling your the other place? Uh yeah, 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 yeah. We up out of here. We got the key, we got the keys today. Baby, where the keys at? Oh, that that's the Tampa place or that's the Miami? No, nah, we in Miami. Where the oh. keys at? Oh, they in her purse. Hold on. Let me show you the keys. Oh, they in the car? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we going a little bigger, and this is what I'm gonna do. I'm excited. Let me tell you why I'm excited. I didn't care about a bigger place. Well, we needed a bigger place because we have a little body. We have a new little body, and then obviously right. all the kids. So we need a bigger space. I only focus on my game room, and like you told me, I need to get rid of the shit back here. Yeah. So I ain't worried about this no more because now my room. I need my. I'm gonna have my nightcap neon sign. Yeah, I'm gonna have you know everything decked out. All like, your plaques, you know, you know we're yeah, about I'm to get a gold my plaque, YouTube, a million. Yeah, my YouTube plaques, I'm gonna have all those set up in the background, yeah. so it's a little bit more professional. So I'm yeah. doing, I'm doing all the decorating. She thinks she's gonna decorate. Uh, uh ain't happening. I want all What'd white you? furniture. I want all white furniture. I want all white rug. I want white everything. White everything. The kids, take your shoes off at the door. That's it. Take don't. The, Why you white. you want white? You want. White what? in your entire house or just your Every, game room? On um, everything. The whole house. No. I want to look like you walking into heaven. Yeah. No bullshit. Mm -hmm. I, want to, I want to look like you walking into heaven. I mean, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. Well, congratulations. I must be paying yeah, you too yeah, much yeah. money. Yeah, I yeah, need yeah, to appreciate uh... that. What you, what, you, <laughs> what, you, what you got tomorrow? What you got tomorrow? Uh, I'm shooting an episode of Club Shay Shay. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? It's a secret. I don't want nobody to try to beat me to him. But I got, hey, 
I got a couple that are, that's uh, coming out. I think the one that's coming out next week, I think it's going to be really, really good. You know, man, you and I talked about it off right. air. He mentioned your name. Uh, but I got a couple in the can that I'm that I'm waiting to, and I got a couple of people on deck. Hey, that's okay. There was one it. I meant. Uh, there's one I texted you yesterday. I don't want to. I don't want to say. Yeah. The thing, oh no. It no. I've already. I've already. Uh, people have all. People close have already reached out. I say no go. Why? Hey, that would outdo Cat Williams easily. And I'll be off there tomorrow. You think so? Yeah. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't be off air because you can you can control and edit what you need to to make sure you don't. Obviously, I'll be having to edit the whole interview. I, I just wasted three hours of my day. Hey, yeah, that would be a good one, though, boy. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, if 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 you wanna if you wanna if you wanna total all, line, t all TV all digital ain't good TV ain't good digital. But that's it's hey, okay. Uh, that's a good one, though. That's a good one. Just based on ain't no telling what the fuck he gonna say. That's ain't no problem. telling. That's the problem. Unpredictable. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I want to thank you guys for joining us tonight for another episode of Nightcap. Wait, Please we on tomorrow? Make sure y'all hit that like button. Go ahead. We on tomorrow too, right? No. Monday. What? Uh, Sunday. 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 Okay, 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 Sunday. okay. Long, long be on, long be on Sunday. Okay, I bet. Sunday. Sunday. I ain't going Please nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. I don't care if it's not football season. <laughs> Make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys for helping us to get to a million. We really, really appreciate that. And please make sure y'all subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. You can, you can listen to Nightcap through Club Shay Shay, but Nightcap. So please make sure you subscribe to the Nightcap podcast feed. Thank you guys for selling out Shay by Laportier. You can't, it's all pre-orders now. So before, when we had it in stock, you order it, you get it within about anywhere between two and three business days. Now, because we're, we're sold out and now we're back ordered, we're only taking pre-orders. So it's going to take you probably about two weeks to a month in order for you to get the order if you were to place it now. We've also been nominated for an NAACP Image Award for the Art, Sports, and Entertainment Outstanding Podcast. We've pinned that link to the top also. So please, thank you for supporting us thus far. Thank the NAACP for nominating us. So please go and vote for us, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the 49ers fired Steve Wilkes after one season. Thought that was very, very unfair. The Cowboys hired Mike Zimmer. He's very familiar with the Cowboys. He was once, I don't know if he was D.C. He might have been the D.B. coach. Uh, he might have been, no, he's a D.C. Uh, in, uh, in Dallas. Mm -hmm. And so uh, good luck to Mike Zim. And the uh, Cowboys defense, thank you for joining us for another episode of Nightcap. I'm your favorite sports unk, Shannon Sharp. He's your favorite number 85, route runner extraordinaire, feet made of clouds. You know, he says he wants his house to have white carpet so it looked like you're walking on clouds. Yeah. It wouldn't, you couldn't tell if he's walking on clouds because that's what his feet were made of. Pro bowler, all pro, ringer famer, hall of famer in the Bengals, a legend, Chad. Ocho, Cinco, Johnson. Thanks for joining us. We're out. See y'all Sunday.